wish to count how many months this is. Holly Jones BB. It's wild time. Spa Archie.
six months and fried. Pretty neat. month miss tones safe and fun pride. I love TTS.
excited for the sun to hatch, do you think it will be a bird? No.
And by the way, the moon is like a type of truck. But you're not allowed to drive it. You don't have your license. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. How's everyone doing today? Thank you, Binging with Babish, for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I hope you've all had a good day today. Hey, it's June 1st. Happy Pride Month. It's the gay one. So if you're that, or if you're other, or if you're me, Who's both? <laughs> hey, happy to ya. Uh, I hope it's a good month. I hope you get uh, everything on your Pride Month wish list. I hope, uh... I can't think of a funny joke name for gay Santa Pride Claus. time to be gay in space. Thank you, Mix Grim, for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this is going, so I guess I'll just say, uh, hey, congrats on being you, and uh, congrats on being the only one of you in the world. And I hope the month is good to us all. I'm gonna be playing Outer Wilds today with my friend Mike. Uh, I've been wanting to get back to this game for a while now. Thank you, Darling Demon Eclipse, for the $5 Funny tip. Funny game name for Santa Claus is Santa Claus. Well, no, that's just the correct one. It's not funny. It's just what he is. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Uh, Outer Wilds, I wanted to play more of this for uh, a while. God, it's been a while since I last got to stream Wilds. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way. Uh, life continuously got in the way of me playing uh, more of this game. I hope nothing bad happens to the sun today. But I do hope good things happen at you and Mike and chat of today. Thank you, Simpleton, for the tip. Uh, no, no one tell them. No one, no one tell them what's gonna happen in 22 minutes. It's June. Can't believe it. Hi Holly, hope you had fun with Wilds today, smile. <laughs> Thank you, TW Clown, for the bits, I appreciate it. <laughs> the sun is healthy, nothing is wrong with it. It'll rise in the sky, it will shine so bright, and we will get to see it again and again and again and again. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, god, it's been way too long, uh, since I was last able to wilds between, like, uh, internet problems and taking time off and having other projects and, uh, depression time off, uh, you know. God, how long has it been? I want to say it's been, like, a month, but I feel like that's wrong. Maybe, like, two or three weeks, something like that. Too long. Too long is the problem. So we're gonna fix that today. Uh, we're gonna be going to the Twins. I'm gonna be looking more at the Twins. I have to try and remember how to get into the Twins, because that's what I wanted to do, I think. Uh, so I have to remember where the secret hole is. <laughs> and see if I can get not lost. Uh, but that's gonna be fun. My friend Mike's gonna be joining me as usual as my co-pilot. I already did a pride bit thing, but here's another because it's really good. Have a wonderful day and month. Hey, hell yeah. Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. And I just had a drink of water. Uh, was there anything I wanted to say uh, before we get started? Uh, I'm doing, like, a, sort of a new schedule this week, trying it out and see how I feel about it. Uh, I think maybe for, like, the next little while, schedule is going to be, like, streams Monday, Tuesday... Uh, Wednesday off, and then streams Thursday, Friday, Saturday off, and then, like, a Sunday early stream, that sort of thing. Uh, see how I feel about that. Uh, see if that's how I want to do it. 
for the next little while. <clears throat> think it could be cool. Think it could be fun. Uh, and uh, I think that's about really all I wanted to say, other than you know the normal. Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, if you're old and you're here, uh, well, happy birthday. Congrats on becoming old. <clears throat> I got my throat's kind of my throat's kind of gunked up because I just finished eating like a minute before I unmuted. <laughs> Apologies if I end up clearing my throat a bunch. Uh, if you want to support the stream and what we do here, you know, subs, tips, bits, all that stuff, never mandatory. Don't ever feel obligated to. You don't gotta. Any reason you might have for not doing it is perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but if you're willing and able. Uh, your very generous financial support means a whole lot to me. Thank you, Elk Turtle, for the $3. Egg. Egg. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, this is, like, my, my main source of income at the moment, uh, which is a big part of why I'm able to do this and other creative endeavors as awesome... As awesome? As often as I do. I'm not gonna toot my own horn that much. <laughs> I am pretty cool, but <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, so, you know, your, your, your generosity is a big part of how I'm able to, uh, keep doing this while also being able to, like, pay bills and, uh, have food and, uh, be able to, like, pay off rent and also save up to move out and things like that. So, thank you all so much. I really appreciate that. I think that's about everything I wanted to say. Yeah, I reckon that's about it. Uh, we're going to get started in just a sec. I'm going to go see if my friend Mike is here on Discord. Uh, I'm going to unmute and undeafen in the Discord call. And I'm going to say hi to my friend Mike. Hi to my friend Mike. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm okay. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm ready for space. Do you remember how long it's been since the last episode of Space? I mean, last uh, night. I checked. But... I think it's about a month. Yeah, I figured it was probably around that long. Man, time flies when you're not in a rocket ship, doesn't it? It sure certainly does. And that's why we're here today to fix that. That's the BRB screen, not the game screen. I'm going to boot up the video game now and get you a side stream. Uh, it helps if I boot up the right video game. I instinctively moved my mouse cursor over to Steam and was like, okay, let's play some Destiny 2. No, <laughs> that's not what we're doing today. <laughs> Out of Wilds. Let's get that shit booted up. Uh, you being the resident Outer Wildsman, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take, like, a shot in the dark here and say I'm, like, in... The last half of the game? Last third of the game? Something like yeah. that? Does that sound right? Yeah, okay. definitely. Uh, I'm gonna do this for you. Let me know if you see the game. I see a game. I love to see a game. The Binging of Babish. Thank you, The Binding of Isaac, for the $5 tip. I appreciate that. That's where Sonic and Co. live. Mm hmm. You have to watch out for Dr. Robotnik. I can't, get you. I can't wait for the Knuckles DLC, uh, where you get to play as Knuckles and search for the fragments of the emeralds in Brittle Hollow. God. That'd be good. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> it's, it's a part of. It's the same. It's the same thing as making a Banjo Kazooie mod for this game where you add in jiggies and collectibles. That would be the perfect, perfect mod, perfect DLC for Outer Wilds. This is Knuckles, and we out here at Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds, Outer Wilds. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Just imagining like an for... emerald radar on your fucking screen as yeah! you fly around the galaxy. God, You've gotta pull that'd be out... so good. You've got to pull out the like photo taker to scan for the emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> I know that it's here. I sense it in my ship. The Great Emerald's power allows me to respawn! Right back to it. I can't see a thing. But it's around somewhere. 
etc., etc. I just hit the. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good, good start. start. Good start. Uh, speaking of good start. Uh, now, if I remember right, we were investigating, uh, well, we had seen some of the quantum moon and stuff like that, uh, last time. You landed on it. We did land on it. For, like, Red the letter first, day. For the first goddamn time, I realized, wait a second, no, this whole time I could have been looking for the, the, the quantum moon. I just never fucking noticed it was there. <laughs> <laughs> You, you mentioned I had seen it, like, a couple times and never acknowledged it, right? Yep. <laughs> More than a couple. You, you saw it plenty of times. I, I can't even, like, be upset at myself for that, because I'm just like that. I, I, I talked, like, a bit yesterday when I was playing a game about airports, about how, uh... Like, in actual real-life airports, I've gotten lost before because I just didn't notice the signs right in front of me telling me exactly where I had to go. And I was like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? Navigation here is a nightmare. This is a mess. I should, like, I should file a formal complaint before realizing... Oh, uh, no, the signs have been, like, up this whole time. I've just completely ignored all of them somehow. No, it, it rules. I mean, in your defense, the moon has like the perfect camouflage of being like a cloudy gray orb. Right. It's, it's in a, this otherwise unfamiliar galaxy. You're, you just don't pay attention to it. It's a perfectly generic, like ordinary sphere in the sky. It's like, yeah, of course I'm not going to see that and be like, oh, huh, something seems weird about that. No, the quantum moon is the least weird looking thing of all until you look away and then it's nothing. So of course you don't acknowledge it. <laughs> Exactly. That's how it gets you. It's the perfect design. Painfully. Love the streams. This is the first time I've caught you live instead of just watching the VOD. Oh, so hell yeah. A little tip. Thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate it. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. A Nomai shrine that wanders about the quantum moon. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging is inscribed next to a mural of a tower on an island. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement is inscribed next to a mural of a quantum shard in a cave. Recall the rule of the sixth location is inscribed next to a mural of a tower hanging above a black hole. You know two of those. Uh, I'm assuming the two of those, well, one of them for sure is imaging. Uh... And I'm assuming the other one is the rule of quantum entanglement? But, like, the connection seems to be very slow or something, but it looks like it's getting hmm. better. I hope it is. Is is the, I assume the side stream is down for you. Uh, no... I think it's up. Okay, I'm tapped back in the game. You see it? Yes. Okay. I do. Uh, that sure was a thing that happened. I looked over and just realized, oh, huh, my, 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 like, kilobytes per second on OBS says zero. Well, that's no good. Hey, Mike, is something wrong? Do you still hear me? And you <laughs> didn't respond, and I realized, oh, so my whole internet's out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just vanished at one point. Anyway, we're back. <laughs> Much like the quantum moon, you look away. And it's gone. And it's gone. So goes my internet. To so. answer your question, uh, you have been to two. You you know two of these things. Mm -hmm. So I'm so ready for the. I know the rule of quantum this. imaging because that's from the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Recall the rule of the sixth location. I assume is related to uh, the thing that we saw. Uh. Oh, wait, no, to explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. And that was, uh... You learned that at the Tower on Brittle Hollow. Right, that was the one with the black hole. Okay, so we haven't yet learned the rule of quantum entanglement. Um, that was... Space is kind of like dinners if you think about it. That's, that's related to... Uh, I'm assuming that's related to... You don't have to answer this one. Uh, this is just me speculating. I'm assuming that's related to uh, the, the cave... Uh, on the twins where like they were like talking about the the oh there's some weird shards here and then all of a sudden wait this one guy's gone what the fuck 
Seems like a pretty good guess. It seems like a pretty good guess, uh, which is why I thought to myself, yeah, I know about the rule of quantum entanglement. I just know the, don't know the specifics of it yet, <laughs> which I guess is kind of half true. <laughs> halfway. You're halfway down that little rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. we're, we're almost there. Thank you uh, to Kale Noscape VG, to Lonesome Tomb 773, Hardcore Kimberly, and Card Wizard Supreme for the resubs. I appreciate it. We also found the Quantum Moon Locator. The Novi hypothesized that the Quantum Moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. There's more to explore here. There's probably, like, one thing you didn't read, because you were halfway through examining this place when you saw the Quantum Moon and immediately beelined for right, it. Right, yeah. So you probably just missed, like, <laughs> one line of text somewhere. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're heading on back to, excuse me, to the twins anyways, uh, so. Sure are. Maybe we'll find it on the way. Uh, Catastrophe Crow is what locked up for anyone else. I, oh, maybe you mean the stream. Uh, I guess you can't hear me if I'm talking then, uh, <laughs> if that's the issue. Twins away. It's been like a month of not playing, and I'm glad to know that I still haven't stopped mixing up headlights with lock onto a planet. I'm gonna crash. It's only natural. Oh god, the game is being stuttery. Hmm. Okay. You're fine. We're fine. We didn't crash, and that's what matters. Hmm. Where was the quantum moon locator? I think it's on the south pole. You're on the north pole right now. Okay, so just keep going roundabouts ways then. Yes. That giant chasm is the equator of the planet. Right, yeah. Okay. That was the escape pod. Uh, and so the locator is here. Let's land our boat on this cute little platform. Oh, huh. I didn't completely fuck up my first landing after coming back. I'm <laughs> proud of myself. Well done. <laughs> it's like riding a bike, uh, except, as I've mentioned multiple times, I've never learned how to ride a bike. You can't forget what you don't know. Exactly. It just bumped me. Let's see. I think this was the one that I read. Probably. Uh, this planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note, it disappears if no one's watching it. Isn't that a fa fascinating orbital characteristic? This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it. Or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Okay, we definitely read this one then, because that was what was on the, 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 the recap. I found your note, Meloray. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. There's text in this house. Someone, someone in your chat just said, Dear God, the aliens use Debian. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. Clearly, the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. Oh, astronomical is in, like, of space, of astronomy, not, like, of large, incredible size. What is this big rotating one, device for? <laughs> yeah. What was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. Hal and the new Astroth's translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. Oh, right. I'm the one with the translator tool, unlike no one else. So, like, none of cool. the others can read the text. Yes. You are, you are the first Harthian to have been able to read Nomai text. Ah. Uh. They had enough of, like, geologists and astrophysicists, so they figured they might as well hire a linguist. 
Turns out important when you're doing uh, astro history, astro archaeology. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anona, Burr, and I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the phantom moon travels. Ah. The sixth site. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Until... They thought... Six. They thought... We have probably discovered everything there is to know here. Probably. Uh, probably. I can keep a look in just in case, but... I reckon that's about it. Where my friend the Phantom Moon is right now? Ah, inside the sun, it seems. Very cool. I know it's probably behind the sun. I just thought it would be funny to imply <laughs> that. The sixth location. It's the egg. Go. It would be the best hiding place of all. It would be. Who would think to look there? Yep, oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Quantum Moon travels to a total of five question mark locations. The quantum moon sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Uh. Okay, the rule of the sixth location, so it has to be on the north pole. I wonder if there's a way to, like get it to shimmy to a specific spot. I wonder if that's the rule of quantum entanglement. I guess we'll have to explore more and see. You also found a text log on uh, a Nomai shuttle that mentioned that any time you land on the quantum moon, you will always end up at the South Pole. Right. Uh, that's true. So that always lands you there. Uh, and then it's a matter of getting it to ferry on over to the north. Uh, I forget, did you get to the uh, the rumored Sunless City? Uh, that's the one under here, right? Yes. I did not. I wanted to. Uh, I'm okay. thinking maybe now it might be too late because of sand in here right now, but uh, it's worth a try. There's not too much sand in here at the moment, it looks like. Un unless there's like some in here, what I haven't seen yet. Let's see. There is a Cractus. Oh, right, yeah. How the hell did we get in there, then? Was it... Okay. Uh... I'll look around a little bit, and then I might just ask, how the hell did we find that one place last time? Because I genuinely don't remember. Uh, yeah. But... For now, I'm having fun just looking around, and also being like, oh yeah, it was right in here, and then seeing the cactus and just going... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 At the very least, that was funny, so I'll take it. Uh, shuttle's currently resting in the comet. Call the shuttle home. And activate the gravity squeeze. Okay, so let's... Gravity's low here, so it's not too hard to boost our way on that. Boost. 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 <laughs> I'm so glad that there's gonna be, like... A generation of people who associate boost with booster face 22 and now another generation of people who associate boost with biggie smalls <laughs> <laughs> por que no los dos i say i don't speak that language so i might have both, said something both minds words. both schools of thought are completely valid of course they can exist together in lurfect harmony Probably should have refueled when I was in there, but oh well. You got enough. I got enough. Let's explore a funny crevasse. 
We also haven't really checked out uh, anything in the Ash Twin yet. I think it's the name of the Great I don't Ram. think... Yeah, I don't think we've landed on it yet. Or maybe we have landed on it. I don't remember. We, we, we may have landed on it, but I don't think... At, at the very least, I'm pretty sure we didn't do, like, anything substantial there. Mm -hmm. If anything at all. Shimmy into the pod. I said shimmy into the into pod. Thank you. The pod. Stick to the pod. Pod with the pod. Right, it was probably somewhere this away, wasn't it? And then they were like, uh, that's the escape hatch. Uh, nothing but interest at the end of this passage but rocks. Okay, uh, don't go here. Uh, don't go here. A horror that lies at its terminus later. Hmm. Well, I don't want to get horrified yet. Thank you, Sir B! With the raid! I hope Welcome. you had yourself a wonderful stream today. Uh, you made it just in time to watch me get lost in space and possibly get crushed to death by sand. Enormous cavern at the end of this passage appears promising. Uh, wise choice for shelter. Start of the path to the shelter site. You must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand! Okay, let's just see if we can make it. Not a lot of sand here yet. We might actually be able to do this. We might just have enough time. Yippee! Well, that's just some sand. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it looks like down hereabouts. Path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall of the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Oh god, how am I going to absorb all this? I have ADHD, I think. Um, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn... Left, continue to the room filled with rock column formations and head up upward through the opening above them. Okay, so... Forward, left, then up. Okay. Forward, left, and then up. Ah! Oh! Oh, I had my flashlight on already. Okay, don't turn that off. Okay, that was less hard than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were about to do, like, a fucking maze with, like, a minotaur and everything. They're not that mean. I, I figured they wouldn't be, but for some reason that's what my brain assumed. <laughs> uh, be cautious crossing the chasm ahead of the bridge Melora and I crafted. We'll do its job, but it isn't strong. Uh, once on the far side... Look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. Okay. Uh, at least there's the bridge ahead. Well, at least I have a jetpack. Good bridge, guys. Great bridge. Uh, there we go. Nice sand. Thank you, Abby Maru, for the 13-month resub. 13. Cute number for the month of menacing generosity. <laughs> You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Well, okay, boss. Watch out for Clactuses. Uh. Was I supposed to go down here? Don't think so. I don't think I was supposed to go down here. Oi, 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 oi! <laughs> uh. You almost got it. You have to make the fabled Cractus jump. Call me Cractus Jane, because I'm the queen of cactus jumping. Uh, where do I go now? Is it... You got to the place that you were oh. supposed to go. So I just go through here? Yes. Okay. Oh god, oh man, oh god. Whoo! <sighs> okay. Ooh. And this, I assume, is the blocked off cactus passageway. This is amazing! Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. An update. 
We need to find a way inside quickly, Melloray, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. From what we can see, Coleus, I believe this specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely that this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis. There is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. I'm assuming the horror and- yeah, it's- it's a fucking... One of these guys. That's what I thought. Ah! It ate it. Yummy, yummy! Twelve. A year. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you, D-Nightlight, for the year of resubs. I appreciate that. Scary fish. Alright, let's go in the home. We can take a look at fish some other time. Uh, Welcome. Anglerfish fossil over, just over there. Welcome to a place without the sun. Welcome to Skeleton! Mm, welcome to running out of oxygen! Oh, hang on, there's trees here. Awesome, I love breathing! Ah. Whew, okay. Anglerfish Overlook District, Stepping Stone District, High Energy Lab Trailhead, Ice Shrine District. Well, this one is labeled one. What did that do? Um. That sand is right. Use another one. Okay, let's use another one. Oh. Oh. So these are turning lights on, and I believe the first light you turned on is completely enveloped by sand. Okay. See, that is where you came from. I can have all of them on. Okay. You can. Okay, so the sand just 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 fills up this whole place. I see. Yes. So, we're going to have to come here faster next time. Well, explore the top. Yeah, we got the uppermost. We can take a look at this at least. Now I know how to get here, so it's just a matter of execution next time. Nothing in particular note in here. Oh, I love sand. This is a very good falling sand sound effect. It is. It's uh, slightly stressful, but also, you know, slightly calming. Uh, there's something in there, it looks like, but I can't really get to it from here, but it's... Let's get out here and go upper ways some more. That's a space helmet. I remember that. A little turned around, but that's okay. Hello, sand. Uh, I'm gonna go up now. So, they, they made it sound like the sand falling here was like, you know, like a regularly occurring thing, uh, as they were, like, living here and dwelling here. Um, where have they dealt with that? Uh, perhaps, Great question. Perhaps I should not have jumped in here. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Perhaps uh, this Ooh. is it. <laughs> you can let tank carry a bowl. I could, but then I won't have can. a lot of time. Oh. Come on. So close. Oh. oh no, my fuel level's critical. Whatever will I do? Get crushed by sand, probably, so it doesn't matter. Looking on the bright side here. Uh. You can go up left. Ooh, what's in here? What? Woo! 
You knocked the sign over. Now you'll never know. I'll literally never know. <laughs> All right. Well, no, don't come going. back. Oh. Should be back by now. Huh. There it is. Gravity cannon. Ah. This place is filled with the bad stuff. Well, you have to take pictures to find out. Uh, actually, no. This place is filled with the fine stuff, actually. There, though. There's the There's problem. some bad stuff. Don't go into that one. I'm assuming this is leading up to the cactus. That was blocking yes. the way it originally. But also... But also? Welcome! You found the Dark Souls shortcut! Ah! Now you can get here in record time! I see! Uh, if I just get up That's probably the most important thing to find in Sunless City. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to do that tunnel course again. Interesting. Okay. So... Uh, I'm rapidly running out of air, and also I can't shit my way up this, so, uh... This may, in fact, be it for old Holly, but... Very cool. Oh, and as the sand goes away from here, you can see this entire, like, installation under it. That's the other twin. I see. The Ash Twin. Even if I didn't accomplish the goal that I wanted to, I learned something else today. Two things. Secret of Hole and Secret of Under. Interesting. You will learn something every day. I do learn something most days. And well, I like it that way. Let's see if I can get to my boat. Get some air at least. Die with dignity. <laughs> Looks like no. Try using your booster. Oh. Can you not use your booster when you're using air? Oh well. <laughs> I think I did, and it suffocated me. <laughs> and now we know. Now we know. I learned a third thing today! Yippee! No time to talk! Dream of hole! <laughs> chat uh i assume this is in reference to when chess played through uh outer wilds uh referring to chess as uh, sisyphus and me as tantalus i don't know what that means but i'm delighted all the same <laughs> <laughs> i forget who tantalus is same me too that's the big thing <laughs> i found a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside but the opening is only Google big enough for my you. scout the Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least, by studying the anglerfish fossil they found on Amber Twin. Huh. Interesting. I know my. Son. Oh, he was a he was a different Greek person who went some kind of torture. <laughs> he was made to stand in a pool of water beneath a fruit tree with low branches fruit ever eluding his grasp, and the water always receding before he could take a drink. Ah, uh, so, so he's constantly hungry for it, but they don't let him have any of it. I think that's the oh, case. Oh yeah, that's where the word tantalizing comes oh, from. Oh, tantalizing. That makes Excellent. sense. <laughs> I like that chess, chess being compared to Sisyphus is very, very apt, but uh, I like you being compared to someone who is frequently and constantly tantalized by success and just cannot get it. <laughs> 
May this lunch sustain you for at least one A little so. backhanded, maybe. <laughs> it's it's funny, you. though. You it's it's the funny. idea of me just being like, oh, this is going to be cool as shit. Watch this. Uh, and then just falling on my face <laughs> constantly is, like, extremely in character. Except, like, that is good. I guess eventually the tree gets fed up and gives me a single fruit. <laughs> Thank you. I think that was from Ebi Maru for the tip. I appreciate it. A Nomai city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. There's more to explore here. Well, let's explore. To explore. We have lived off. <laughs> Take me, Lord and Chat. This is going to be cool as shit. Watch this. The water recedes. Shit. <laughs> Again, I do the headlights thing. <laughs> by by the time I remember how to like properly do the lock on and not the headlights, it's probably going to be the last cycle of the video game. Probably. Probably. Knowing me. Let's avoid sand and Speaking of my good friend the sun. It'll be cool as shit. Watch this. <laughs> and it's very funny because I was just saying and thinking to myself, didn't say it out loud. Uh, and by the way, the sun's hot. Don't touch it. Uh, <laughs> you got it, boss. Have fun in space. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, man, it would be really funny if I had suddenly just decided to change course and, like, try to land on that little thing what's orbiting the sun instead of going towards the twins again. Um, but then I was like, y then I was like, you know, I probably shouldn't do that. I would probably miss horribly and careen into the sun. It's fine if you just careen into the sun on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Although I do like your mentality of, uh, trying to ambush the thing orbiting the sun. <laughs> Like, as if catching it off guard will make your chances better. <laughs> this son of a bitch is never going to expect this. Look out. <laughs> it's only also just now dawning on me that I did, in fact, just start that previous loop by just shouting Dream of Hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like... Like... He, Slate watched you wake up as if you had a nightmare, run over and use the elevator that you shouldn't have been able to use because you didn't have the codes, and then fly directly into the sun. <laughs> right! <laughs> and the Harthian spent the rest of that loop wondering what the fuck happened to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, what did I bump? Oh, the other twin. What did you bump? Wait, is it the other? Did you? Oh, you did. Huh. There she is. I was... So cool, Hulk is by the gravity cannon. Right, yeah, now I just have to remember whereabouts the gravity cannon is. You just passed it, it should be right in front of you. Okay. If you keep orbiting around. It's a keep orbit. Oh, there you are! Okay, so it's like... If you look at, like, the... If you face the cannon, mm -hmm. it should be to your left. Okay. See oh, that, like, right. Those, really like, weird high bits. poly cluster of rocks? Mm -hmm. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the suspicious bit of the cliffside uh, that the animators colored in more than the rest of this background? I bet it's nothing. You know. I bet it's perfectly safe to stand right on top of this. Ow. Actually, no, Al. Okay, now where was... Was it just there? Hole. Yep. Hole? Hole. That's hole. Hmm, oh, baby, that's hole. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> I'm saying this every day when I pour my morning bowl of cereal. What's down there? Uh, cacti, it turns Practice. out. Do not touching those. Oh, and let me guess, that over there, that's probably like the door leading directly to the cannon. Yes, I'm pretty sure that is. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thank you, uh, Mazardian Chaos, for the bits. Oh, like, like Mozart. I get it now. I understand. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
have all the time in the world. Yippee! Oh, and text. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Theoretically, yes. Uh, practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. That's in reference to the power sources. Uh, I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. This this person's name is fucking Idea, and they're like, this idea stinks, I should know. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of I'm the expert of ideas here. <laughs> the purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to, and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. And yet they built it anyways. <sighs> Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe, if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Also, hi, Joy. I hope you're having yourself a wonderful day today. Hoke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, or idea, I suppose. I said idea as a joke, but that was a joke. I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Uh, Drury was pretty split on this whole deal. Not everything was, uh, like, universal consensus and agreement, it appears. Okay. Look at him. Wow, this goes really goddamn deep! Okay. The High Energy Lab. I guess it really was Dream of Hole. New holes. New frontiers to explore. New cactuses to get scared of. First X describing the high energy lab as just a really big happy dog being behind the door. That's good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Millennia of research have gone into how he has so much energy. <laughs> it's literally just a single, like, golden retriever. <laughs> I see cactuses there, so I will be careful. Ah! I see cactuses there, so I will be careful. Hmm. Okay. Fuck. The sand is pushing me down, isn't it? But sand can also push you up. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I should quit attempting this, and just wait for the sand to patiently lift me up. I've only got so much blood in me, I can patch up my suit as often as I want. I've got bandages, I've got duct tape. I've only got so much blood in me. I say trying it again. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it would be so cool if I did it, so... One more for the road. <laughs> uh, I sure hope I find the campfire soon. Oh. Uh, oh. What's up, lesbians? Hey, time looping. Thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate good, it. Good name. Yeah. <laughs> Do appreciate someone in chat. I just saw their highlighted message saying, okay, Holly, now you're Tantalus. <laughs> okay, up we go. What if- Ow! 
<laughs> okay, but what if I? Ow. Surely this time. Ow! Fuck! Ow! <laughs> uh, so you can't go from wherever that was because of ghost matter. Oh, here. Cool tube. Ah, I see. Tube was upways once. It's a good thing there's not a lot of gravity here, I reckon. Whoop! Yes! Welcome. Uh, to the high energy lab. Hopefully, there's no sand in this one. Hey, it's that one symbol. Perhaps I should not touch Mysterious Ball. However, I'm going to do it. That's me. That's you. The experiment was a success. Yippee! Recognition of the self through the self. This area appears to just be completely empty. Huh. Warp core. Huh. Warp cores. Uh... It's very cool how my character immediately recognizes. Oh yeah, that's a warp core. Classic warp core. It's a warp core, right? <laughs> Gee, boss, that's a warp core if I ever seen one, and I have seen one right now. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. In theory, what we want to try is to, re to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial things first, our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Ah, uh, that's the thing that they were talking about that we noticed, uh earlier at that one place, the White Hole Station. I wonder what happens if I'm... Okay, so power is going to this, and if I move this, then power will instead go... to this. Which then I assume opens up. Oh, wait! This fits here. You two... White Hole... Nothing seems to happen. This just closes the window. If I open you up... Assuming this is a black hole one, and if I put you in here... Ah! Hey, Scout! You ready to go on a fucking trip? I want to go in there. I want to go through there. I want to go into that. <laughs> I want to go into that. I want to become the science experiment. Okay, so it's only if I put a black hole and a white hole in there, it looks like.
Some of them shared said I'm gonna be spaghetti if I go in there. I've been through several black holes by this point, by which I mean the same black hole over and over again, but... You know, across different lives, so several. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. I mean, I saw it. For like a split second, but I saw it. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raimi, uh, Yarrow requests that we let him know before we, <laughs> before we reroute energy to the experiment. <laughs> I'd hate to leave him in the dark! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Oh, I just realized I've been muted. Oops. Hi oh, hypothesis well. confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Hey. A win for science everywhere. Yippee! I'm so happy for science any day now. Oh, and there's stuff up here, too. Oh, this is that thing that we saw on the surface. That's This must be what's drawing the energy from the sun. It's like solar panels. Yes. Interesting. So we've got... Uh, this represents something. This is the twins. This is something. This is something. All of these are something. Clearly. That could be true. Especially given that this one is very blatantly and clearly the twins. Uh, I'm assuming the rest refer to the other five planetoids. Like, this is probably the Bramble. Uh, this is probably... Uh, something. This was the the, the anti-tower, the, the, the scary tower in uh, Huge World, Giant's Deep. Uh, stuff like that. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. That is... Hey, hang on a second. I know that number. 22 minutes. Hmm. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Hmm. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Raimi and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We'd also require advanced warp technology available, able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough... ...would be the Ash Twin. Hmm. Hmm. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Raimi, so I believe it's you who's aeroform. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you you goon. <laughs> God, just being like, Hey, you're a real treat, my friend. No, it is in fact you who is the baked good. <laughs> I love these space dudes. I paid my ten dollars. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers like the one we have on the White Hole Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical station? So that's where the warp pads are. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. So that's probably how you're meant to get to the Black Hole Forge. 
<laughs> Me. Mm-hmm. Stroking my chin. <laughs> of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my impressive, my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. <laughs> Please stop commenting. <laughs> I've seen your comments. You must stop telling me the sun is not a planet. I am aware. I will never log off. <laughs> <laughs> we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. What's in here? No. This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Rainy and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing project, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. I've been here before. You have been here before. And and the, the, the door goodie was broken, so I couldn't go in through this way. I see. Now you can. Hmm. Sands are filling up. You begin to run out of time. I'm sure it'd be fine. Wait, no, actually, maybe I should close this door. I'm superstitious now. Okay. Bye bye, sand. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else in this room. Read that already. And that just powered off the city. Looks like there's no possible way to get into this area, uh, which is sad because uh, I wanted to jump into there and like see myself for a brief moment and like give myself a high five or something. But <laughs> uh, I suppose some things were not meant to be. Uh, this was just how we got up here, so. If only there was a way to see yourself in this game, there was! I launched a scout and I took a picture of myself. signal duplicate or something like that. Let's come out like a couple seconds afterwards. Your scout's coming out a full second before it goes mm -hmm. in. Interesting. Let's see. And we have a couple empty cores here as well as like extra uh, black hole and white hole cores. We got spares. Yeah. I'm wondering if the spares being here is like a sign there's some other puzzle that I haven't either figured out or discovered, uh, or if it's just set dressing. It could be either, knowing this game, frankly. Um, 
I'm 99% sure it's set okay. dressing. I reckon we'll figure out one way or another. Yeah. By which I mean, possibly we'll beat the game and not discover another puzzle involving those. <laughs> because you don't, yeah, you don't see those those little, uh, well, you do see them. You see the, the little uh, diamond-shaped warp cores and all the warp pads, but you can't interact right. with them. They, they live there. They're, they have a job to work. They live there. I'm not going to interrupt them. They're doing important work. I reckon the sun's about to go boom real soon, so... Sooner than later. Yeah. Where was my ship? Ah, uh, there was my ship. With what little time I have left, I'm wondering if I could uh, get a bit silly with it and see if we could go anywhere uh, on the Ash Twin. You can go take a yeah. look. Since we certainly aren't really going to be able to do anything uh, in uh, the city now covered in sand. We might as well take a quick sticky beak peek over at... Uh, there she is. Yeah. Now. Wherefore is yonder entrance? Right there, I reckon. Um. No, no, no. You quit giving my ship the suck. I would like to get out. I'm hitting the down thruster as much as I can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll very quickly go in this door. <laughs> Purple in here. There's a black hole core. Neat. There's trees in here. I wonder if this is another one of those warp pads. I reckon I don't really have time to wait and see. So it looks like a black hole is always made to take you to a white hole. Uh, oh, that just takes... So this must be the warp room, then. Okay. I just wonder where it's meant to go. Also got this place over here. That was good timing. Uh, you know where you are. You spent a very long time trying to get shit. here. Shit. Um. That shows the departure from arrival time. Return warp status charge. Stepped on the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. So how you're supposed to do this puzzle? Uh huh. Is that you send the black hole forge up? Mm -hmm. You have to fly to Brittle Hollow. Send the black hole forge up and then go to Ash Tower and use that warp tower when it passes by Brittle Hollow. And then you can go into the Black Hole Forge. Or if you're hollow, you can just brute force it and it works. <laughs> if you're me, uh, you can just have an absolutely normal one, have an absolutely genius level brain maneuver, uh, like I do every day of my goddamn life, uh, <laughs> and just land your boat and jump out. <laughs> Whatever works. Hey, if it works, it works. And by God, did it fucking work. God, that's so funny that I accidentally hit the warp pad here! <laughs> <laughs> Game is good! What's over here? Ah. Take me up, please! And now I have to uh, uncover the riddle of... Is there some other way to access these warp pads other than just waiting for the sand to come out? Uh, which I reckon I won't figure out this life given how this life is about to end. But man, what of you? <laughs> uh, I'm 
so glad to be playing this game again. I missed this. Me too. It's weird to say that I missed the sun going thermonuclear, but I did. I just want to put this fun gif on the screen to commemorate that. <laughs> Won't be returning to this twin right away because we've still got things to explore on the red twin, but very interesting. Whee! Oh, hey, what's that? Bottom of something, I suppose. Front row seats, Take baby. Us away, boss. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, down in front. Get out of the way. I don't know. It's a pretty cool view, even with it kind of hogging the spotlight. <laughs> Good things are happening with the sun. Uh, classic of sun. You kind of love to see it. Except for when you don't. But... <laughs> Thank you, Mozartian Chaos, for the bits. spend hours doing something, getting something to work, only to realize days later there was a much easier way to do it? All the time. Happened to me yesterday. Huh. Small world, I guess. I mean, we can get around it. <laughs> it was an expression! See what computer has to say. Quite a few things. Central chamber inside the Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval. On Ash Twin. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. There was. There was also something about, uh, the, the, the funny things what record the memories and allow the respawning to happen being on the Ash Twin as well. I wonder if that's directly correlated. I wonder if that's literally what is causing the 22 minute intervals. I wonder if it's one and the same. Decent guess, given how that's what's, like, making us respawn every 22 minutes. No, it's probably a complete Oh, absolutely, you know? It probably has no meaning. I think you're onto something and I'm just being a goddamn fool. <laughs> Ash Twin Tower Designs. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many know my were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Hi, Energy Lab! The Nomai successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. Oops. Nomai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy, as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a location for the project. Okay. So it, it sounds like the implication is they did devise the new technology, and it's on, uh, Ash Twin, and that's what's allowing this to happen. I was... B before I, like, read this just now and realized, okay, that's what this is implying, I was starting to think, like, oh, maybe the implication is that the only thing that is making it work is the fact that the sun is going thermonuclear, producing enough energy for the reaction. 
no, I think the sun is just exploding. <laughs> That's all. I guess we'll see, though. Thank you, Huggy Ender. I got here late, but I have soup Enjoy now. soup. Thank you for the two-month reset. According to chat, it seems like our weird uh, sync problem is back. Fuck. Hmm. Okay. Well, I suppose this is a decent enough time as any to quit the game because, like, this is the start of a new loop. That's... Huh. I wonder if it's the game Discord Twitch. I feel like it's gotta be the game because it only seems to happen for this game. And now a huh. bunch of people in chat are saying that they didn't notice it. But now people okay. are saying they did notice it. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> it, it, it has to be this game because it literally doesn't happen for anything else. Baffling. Weird. Weird. Baffling. I'm gonna try for a bit, uh, maybe just like one loop, like not doing a side stream and see if that does literally anything. Yeah, let's try that. Let's, let's see if for some reason I, I have your stream okay. open. I have your stream open. I can That's good. It. It's fine. Let's 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 see if like for some reason it somehow is the Discord side stream doing it because I also don't usually like Discord side stream a lot of things while I'm like streaming, streaming. Doing them? Yeah. All right, hang on. Let's do a test now that we're doing it this way. Uh, when I say I'm gonna say one, two, three, and then we both say space at the okay. same time. Ready? One, two, space. three, space. That was about at the same time. Chat, was that a was that about at the same time or completely off? Holly early? Ooh. So So it's Discord. Mm. A full second off. So it could be Discord. Wow. Huh. What if I just like hang on. I'm going to just, like, close Discord for a sec and see if that changes anything somehow. So I'm going to be right back, my I'll friend. Do, I'll, I'll do that, too. Let's, let's okay. troubleshoot this. Sometimes you got to troubleshoot stuff live because, Jesus Christ, this keeps happening. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Discord's sending it through the high-energy lab. <sighs> No, I'm not doing this as a bit. If I was doing this as a bit, it would be a fucking awful bit. Okay, Discord is back up. I'm going to rejoin it now. Technology is a curse. Hello, my friend. I'm back in Discord now. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay. Uh, yes, we are. Let's try that mm -hmm. one more time. One. Two, space. three, space. On my end, I heard us basically say that at the same time. Me too. Uh, why are people saying uh-oh? Uh-oh? Even earlier? What? How is that possible? <sighs> Holly is exactly on two. What? That... That doesn't make any like wow. this is literally just picking up desktop audio. Hang on. Uh do I have delay for Discord and Streamlabs? What is that? Is that a thing? How would I check that? I've literally never heard of that being a setting. Hmm. Huh? Also, I'm not like doing anything through through Streamlabs. I'm using OBS Studio. So, yeah. Uh, OBS does have a thing for that, though, I know. Can you put a delay on just your mic audio on our end? I don't know how to do that. You can, you can do that. Germa does that a lot for, like, webcam syncing purposes. I don't know. I don't know how you do that. Huh. Hang on. I'm going to try closing the game and see if that somehow causes anything. Uh... Okay, it looks like stream is live again. Uh, refresh if you don't see stream up yet. Uh, okay, I fit 
fucking I relaunched OBS and it forced an update on me. And then I also fiddled with some settings I saw, which may or may not be helping. Uh, there's like a thing about uh, like using device timestamps, which has to do with like uh, relying on like your system's hardware to uh, like calculate when audio is supposed to be playing. And I'm wondering if like the fact that uh outer wilds being like a little computationally intense uh because it's simulating like an entire fucking solar system uh might be causing some issues when i stream with uh that game when i have uh that setting on so i turned it off and i saw some folks saying that turning it off could help with issues of audio desync we're gonna try that i'm gonna reconnect to uh the discord call and see uh, if we can, like, do a test and, like, check it out. Yeah, I had heard some folks talking about Outer Wilds causing, like, issues with, like, recording and streaming, so, like... And I thought, well, I'm getting off scot-free, I'm not having any performance issues, but, like, fucking little did I know, it turns out the audio was having issues. Uh, so we're gonna join, uh... the, the Discord call, and we're gonna try that again. My friend... Let's try the let's try the one two three space challenge one more time. I'm pretty sure it I'm pretty sure it would have been fixed by you doing the stream, but mm -hmm. just to be sure. Just to be sure. One, two, three. I space. forgot what we were gonna say. Space. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Okay. One, two, three. Space. space. Okay. People are saying time. it's good. Okay. People Excellent. are saying it's good. Uh. Okay. Hang on. Uh. Good. My mic quality randomly dropped. What? Whoa, hang on. Uh, hmm. uh, is this better? Does it sound? Space. Does it sound better? Is it good? It sounds normal to me. I'm not it sure if it's coming through differently. You. Okay. Uh, some folks are saying it sounds a little staticky. Sounds good now? Okay, uh... It might have, like, set... Oh, just for, like, a second. Okay. Uh, I also did just, like, force, uh... OBS to go, like, okay, no. Use, like, my fucking good microphone for my microphone instead of, instead of whatever the system default is. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, a Windows does, like, an update and it, uh... Like, changes shit. Uh, like, me being... Ebi Maru, me being barely first is, like, probably just an issue of, like slight latency on discord because like i definitely might have like said that a little earlier on my end uh just because i was like okay mike's gonna say it now i'm gonna say it now kind of thing so like it's yeah it's fine it's hopefully hopefully it's now. okay yeah we're gonna we're gonna launch the game and see if that has like fixed uh anything let's let's try i, I heard a little bit of what you're saying i think it might be a cpu issue it might like be, you were yeah. saying like i think i think this game taxes cpu more than gpu right, and yeah. that could be causing some kind of desync either way hopefully not having a side stream might help yeah like like i've got a pretty good cpu but definitely like it was getting hit between like playing the game having the side stream having the actual stream all that stuff like i have it specifically set to use or like prefer uh my cpu for like encoding uh in obs just because like my cpu is better for that than my gpu is mm. uh so that's probably was part of it. And so, like, fiddling with a thing that's like, okay, tax my, like, system even more, use, like, my specific hardware settings to, like, route the audio in whatever way instead of just using the, uh, the OBS default, whatever it is. Uh, mm. The internet issues, unfortunately, are just because my internet's having issues. <laughs> but... <sighs> we have hopefully at least solved one thing. Hopefully. Dude. Spectre pants in chat. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about that? No. What? So, um, chess. Uh, another streamer, video chess, who has a very impressive uh, stream mascot slash uh, Unity integration mm -hmm. yes, thing going on her stream has a uh, a plugin which you can use to make like cool text, and she has it set up so that you can make Dark Souls text appear. Right. Um, she realized at one point that um, due to a uh, an error that he overlooked, um, Rook, her client, was making um, 
a 9,000 by 9,000 uh, pixel image every second. Second? Yes. Or maybe even every frame. I don't remember. It was something <laughs> like that. And uh, she noticed a slight slight let off her CPU load when she found and fixed that issue. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rick! <laughs> Rook, Rook was hogging the photocopier and just printing blank pages ad infinitum. Rook was trying it so hard. It was 60 hard. times a second, so it was oh once a Oh my fight. god! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, according to someone else in chat, the images were all blank, too. Oh yeah, entirely blank. They were just like 9,000 by 9,000 blank PNGs. Oh my god. Like, on the one hand, it's good that she caught that, uh, and like... You, I, I know how it can be with the programming. Stuff like that, <laughs> unfortunately, just can happen sometimes if you're not, like, so super careful with what you're doing. On the other hand, from all the bits of, like, characterization we've seen about Rook that seems entirely in character for Rook. It sure does. <laughs> ah, there's more to explore at the Black Hole Forge. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a work tower and its corresponding astral body. There's more to explore here. We can do that some other time, I suppose. Sun Station. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Sunless City. A Nomai city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a sun station excuse me, in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed its construction, are you, excuse me again, oh god, I'm, I'm nervous and now I'm all like breathing weird and my, my lungs aren't happy. <laughs> Several Nomai opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. Uh, suppose they, they were maybe right, uh, <laughs> given what we've seen. Uh, still gotta look into more of this stuff. All right. Ready to go. Let's go find that hole again. I hope the audio is fine this time. It's near the sun, so it's got to be here. Okay. That's the moon. Every day I look up in the sky and I see the moon there and I'm like, what the fuck is that? No, oh, that wasn't there before. I wasn't there when I woke up. What? And what happened to the sun? <laughs> New type of guy. For first person. <laughs> it's first person to notice the moon. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That wasn't there earlier. Hang the on a second. I don't remember that one. Wait, hang on. Is that the... That's the quantum moon, isn't it? It is. What if a brief detour? What if a brief detour? Uh, Take a picture. How do I do a time. picture again? Uh, the same button that you launched with. trees here this time. There are trees here this time. Huh. There... There weren't trees last time. There were not. This is someone's scout. I think that's yours. What if a brief detour is the best oh. one-line description of our two wilds? Hi, that's me! <laughs> should maybe not do that so I don't strand myself in space. Uh. 
Huh. This wasn't here last time I landed here. Hello, the tower. Tower. Oh, uh, no, that 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 corpse there isn't us. That's that's a nomai. They're wearing the nomai outfit. Called the rule of quantum imaging, quantum entanglement, and the sixth location. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I see. So, I'm assuming the location of the tower corresponds to uh, a location that the the moon is orbiting around. Uh, you don't have to answer that one. Pretty good guess. But, like, given everything we've seen so far, it seems like certainly a guess. And, like, there was that thing before about landing on the South Pole, but... Last time we landed here, which presumably was on the South Pole, it looked very different. Well, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I'm tempting fate by doing that. <laughs> okay, I want to test something, so the tower is there. Look away. Tower's gone. Yeah, okay. I'm having... I'm having theory idea. Uh, and I'd like to test it somehow. <laughs> hmm? <Huh? laughs> Rampaging Harvester! Someone on this moon has been ripping the most sublime bowl. <laughs> Smoking big doints in other wild. <laughs> oh, we out here in wilds. Smoking big old doinks in wilds. <laughs> oh, man, someone's been hotboxing this moon. <laughs> Taking us years to get in on this. That explains why it's all over the place like that. It doesn't know where it's going. It never knows. Let's boost. 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 Let's see if I can crest over this. Uh, no. Okay. I, I thought that would be what would happen, but I had to make sure. Had to be sure. Had to be sure. Let's go back to the twins. The Nomai on the quantum moon died hitting the fattest rip in the universe! <laughs> <sighs> Lord. Do you recall the tale of Icarus? How that he was cool as fuck, <laughs> loved doing anything. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Surely this will be no problem for me and my very flammable wings. <laughs> my very safe boat made entirely of wood and duct tape. What's the matter? <laughs> Logmore. All right, only twenty-two minutes until four twenty. <laughs> of this universe <laughs> oh god so much sand has gone down uh <laughs> it's all right oh god now my controller's disconnecting please don't flick me into <laughs> the sun it's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> well uh we've landed on the ash twin so i suppose we're exploring the ash twin my boat has made the decision for us. 
Gravity has made the decision for you. I pray only that gravity does not yank my boat away. This looks to be the tower for the twins. A lot of dead men here. Oh, cacti. Never mind, that's not dead men. Cactus. That's one dead oh, man and a cactus. Oh, it's Cactus. I'm learning a lot today. Like, cactus, for instance, is not a man. It's a cactus. Uh, this takes you somewhere. This takes you... Nothing racked here. Okay. Uh, this is broken, so whatever this is for... Doesn't work. It appears. Unless... The ceiling is broken. Right, the ceiling is broken, so maybe the warp head is still fine. It's still pulsating. Hmm. I guess we'll see if this still works in a, in a moment. Cactus, you ready for this? I can't wait to get teleported inside the sun. Really hoping saying that would teleport me inside the sun. <laughs> you know, as a goof. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is for, like, the twins in some way, because this is the two connected towers, and they were like, oh, we can make all the towers look like the planets they co that correspond to, because we're like that. Oh, this is probably going to warp us in there, then, isn't it? I mean, that's a certain definition of warping us in there, isn't it? Yeah. That's <laughs> kind of warping. That's a little bit like warping us. <laughs> well. That's, well. That's where my boat is. Gravity has made the decision for you. I suppose it has. You can probably boost your way up there. Yeah, it's this is looking pretty safe to do. Uh, see? It's fine. No problems here. It's fine. No problems here. Oh, oh, oh sand is coming back. Come on, come on. Please, please! <laughs> so this was the one that took us to... Actually, was this the one that took us to a place? did. Right, this is the one that took us to, uh, oh! Hey. Hello. Oh. Huh? What? Hello? Hello? Oh, I see. I was confused by gravity for a second. <laughs> I was like, I was too. What happening? <laughs> I think we clipped slightly into the sand floor or yeah. something. Yeah. Here's our first delivery, Yarrow. One warp core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. There's no period at the end of that. There isn't a period there. We found a typo. Uh-oh! I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge, and my unfinished work there, is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin Project is underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do! The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Project, so a visit to the station could be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, you would like to visit White Hole Station... I would like to visit White Hole Station with you, Clary. 
I'd be happy to explain our findings. Yarrow, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister. <laughs> Magic matters, her density rivals the neutron stars. And go meet her under the White Hole Station. <laughs> you fucking goons, go do your job and flirt somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so this was to Bumble Hollow. This then must be fill the sand. It's empty. Oh, no, it's sand that takes you up here. Okay. Which means... Here's where we need to be. Where's this one take you? Not gonna take us through the sun, is it? Ah. I know this place. Do you know this place? Whoop, okay, back we go. Okay, so that's just uh That's just that one place on a windy planet. That's not like anything we haven't seen before, right? Yes. Uh, you've read that text thing before, I'm pretty sure. Okay. It was just like, a, hello, friends, welcome to the statue island. Right, yeah. I'm I, down below. I thought I had, but I was not sure. I just walked all the way back up. Is there another thing up here? There's not. Is there something on top? There's a cactus on top. A oh. new cactus. Here comes the sand! Hold on. Hold on. Mayhaps I will be safe under this bridge. Hmm. Standing under things makes you safe. <gasps> oh god, my air, that's right. <laughs> oh god, my air, that's right. <laughs> my boat's a little far away, too. Hell! Yeah. I could also do with the refuel. You could probably slingshot around the planet. Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of... Actually, no, there's not that much. You can get there. You got this. Okay. We're good. Away we go. There was something under here, too. Hey, no, you... Slow down, and you let me go back. Where was it? That car base was around. There's a little bit higher up there. Was it this bit? Yeah. And that takes you. Okay, that must take you out of something or other than that's. I think there's just a. Uh... You passed by it earlier. I think the literally, like, very, very bottom of a tower just has an elevator up there. Ah, uh, probably, like, on the other side, then? Uh, just for when the planet, like, drains with sand. Just, like, a quick way to get from the bottom to the top. Hmm. Don't think there's anything there. Okay. Now that. Now this. Is a lot of practice. Sure is. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. <laughs> Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious. Raimi thinks I'm a gas. I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation, Idea. I don't see what state of matter you are. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this. 
Oh, I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this. I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yarrow. <laughs> that at least we can agree on. <laughs> Bro, you'll need a fucking vacation. Correct! Not happy with their time at the sun station. A war pad. One of the war pads. Which one, though? I suppose I could just try and boost up here somehow. Well, there's a door over there. Hmm. Ah, the door is broken. I see. I'm the fool. Classic. Classic broken door. Okay. So that one takes us back to the other twin. Where does this take us? This must be for the sun station. I'm assuming. I'm guessing. Because this looks kind of sun station shaped. Vaguely? Oh, there's something up there, too. Oh, it's me hitting my head. This is what's up there. That's the sand. Uh, maybe let's stow away for a sec. Have a drink of water. Let's see if this takes us anywhere right away. Oh, right, Did I time that right? I'm on a delay. A little bit. More or less. <laughs> it it timed up very well with uh the sand coming in and then with uh the warp happening. Okay, so that does just take you back there. That one takes you to Ember. Mm -hmm. This makes you go all the way up here. Ah, there's the scroll. I was thinking there was probably one around here. The scroll. This roll. Anything over here about? Way back over here. That's where this is. And the wall was. What was the read wall? Oh, it was in this one. Right, 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 right. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Konoi would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Okay. It's nothing of particular note at the moment, then. This door works. And there's air here. Uh... I'm guessing because of trees, this probably takes us back to hearth. That uh... seems like a good guess. Mm -hmm. But again, a guess is just a guess. You could always stay around and find out. You can always this, fuck around and find out. I figure this is a pretty good uh, loop for fucking around, vis-a-vis uh, -vis finding out. Hello, the sun. You're looking mighty red and huge today. Here we are, back home. Back home, baby. So, 
Uh, if I had just stood on those warp pads for long enough in previous cycles, would I have been warped here? The white ones? Yes. No. Oh, so they're only returns if you take the warp there. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. That's uh, that's part of the mystery. You just kind of see them and you stand on them and you're like, huh? Yeah, what the fuck this? The I'm fact that they have, like, a return is, like, it's not explained faux-scientifically anywhere in the game. I think it's purely, like, a gameplay mechanic right. thing. Right. I'm okay because with the, the Yeah, the, because the lore of it's pretty stringent of, like, something goes in the black hole and something comes out the white hole, which makes sense. And then mm -hmm. there's just return warps at the white hole station because of convenience. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, this is a video game that you're playing. Uh, it is indeed video game. And sometimes it's nice when things in the video game are convenient and fun. The deadly cactus tunnel. Are you going to brave the cactus tunnel? I mean, I'm about to die anyways. I might as well. Time to fuck around and find out. You did a pretty good job. Not bad for my first attempt, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this is going to be so sick. Check this out. Gets punctured by three million cacti <laughs> in space. <laughs> Someone in chat says, I didn't know you could get that far in Cactus Tunnel like that. Um... Which makes me think there's probably like 10 other solutions you could do to like, get through that specific bit. Uh, but we all know how the black hole forge went, so... <laughs> there is there is perhaps another solution, but I will say to that person in chat, I have seen people get through that, through just the jetpack. Mm -hmm. It is possible. Thank you, Seal212, for the 11 month resub. I appreciate that. <laughs> You all remember the vaunted Black Hole Forge solution. <laughs> I'm just saying. Alright, the Ash Twin Towers. Several large Nomai Towers form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. The White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin Project. Hello, controller. Thank you. Sun Station. The Nomai debated building a Sun Station in order to power the Ash Twin Project. The Noai built something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its construction. There's still more. Oh, Logmore, did you did you do the the cactus jetpack challenge? <laughs> Take the cactus jetpack challenge. Everyone is doing. It. Take the Sun Station Challenge. This is a fool's endeavor, but I'm gonna take this challenge anyways. You can always try. I'm going to try. Uh, am I going to succeed? Only Probably one way to find not. out. The mission was a complete failure. Da -da 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 -da. I had a feeling when I saw like a my angle of attack and b the angle the sun station was moving at. I kind of thought to myself, uh, "This isn't gonna work." That's my little dance. Oh yeah, I'm aware that it's possible. I'm pretty sure there's like a Steam achievement for doing it. Uh, there sure is. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> it's weird that Hollow's Lantern is still like no discoveries yet. Huh. There's more to explore on the interloper. Right, the 
probe tracking module. That's a thing we still have to discover. That sounds like it's. Yeah. On we Giant's found deep. it, but we can't get to it. Right. It's 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 like stuck under Giant Steep or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming there's some kind of warp pad shenanigans we can do to get there. Uh... It was in the. Well, the game basically told you it was in that uh, little electric orb in the middle of the planet. Right, yeah. And when I tried just, like, climbing through the orb, it, weirdly enough, like, shocked me to death and killed me, huh? Mm -hmm. Weird. Still, still a number of things left to explore. Yeah, we got plenty to do. Right now, I kind of want to go back to Ember Twin and check out more of... Although... Interrupting Although, my own thought mid-sentence. The Cactus Challenge. The Cactus Challenge. The Cactus Challenge. Now that I know the immediate solution of how to get to the city, um... kind of want to solve the Cactus Challenge. You'll just have to wait for the tower to show up. Oh, wait, yeah, we do have to wait for the sand to get sand. Wait, huh? Landing gear damaged. Did we bump into something? Must have scraped it on something, I don't know. Uh, well, what's it get fixing? That wasn't too bad, at least. Sand, sand, and more sand. So Everywhere much, sand. So much sand, you actually wouldn't believe. There's no sand yet going on to the other one. Takes a minute. Ah. There we go. Oh, my boy Sand is raring to go! Let's violently thrust downward so that we can land on this planet and not fly away. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep side hopping here. Oh, the sand is going the other way. Let's see. I will give you the hint that the uh oh. Huh? Never mind. I was going to give you the hint that the uh the tower with the cactus challenge would be the first one to show up, but uh you found it. <laughs> Take the cactus challenge. Wait three million years for cacti to appear. <laughs> Now we wait. This thing being sun-shaped, like a comical sun, makes me think this might take us to the sun station. Or it might not. It could take you to the uh, previously undiscovered spiky ball planet. You it could know. take us uh, to to like the, the wretched ball zone. Mm -hmm. We we may in fact get sent over there to ball till we fall. Uh, it's the <laughs> you know uh, tap taps from Yoshi's Island. It's their home world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep fucking cut, and I'm here for yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> That was the first thing I thought of, and I was like, wait, Hollywood get a Yoshi's Island reference. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe I should get to my ship and, like, fly it over this way so that I have, like, oxygen and the like. Oh, but... Oh, but door. I'll come back for door in a sec. Okay. I would like oxygen and fuel. Those are important, too, I guess. Mm -hmm. I basically just have to fly over this way. So that would be like more or less a 180. Just a little towards the equator. So like this way is uh, maybe a little bit to the side to avoid the sand pillar. There we go.
This door busted. Assume one on the other side. Well? Oh, one on the other side. Right, the one what takes us through here. Uh. Oh! Da 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 da! The other solution to Cactus! I see. But you're taking the Cactus Challenge. I am, in fact, here to take the Cactus Challenge, so. Let's. How the fuck did I do this the first time? I don't know. Careful. Yeah, I guess. You've seen how I play this game! Nothing about the way I play is careful! <laughs> Although, <laughs> second try, easy every time, I suppose. Stand on that warp, stand on that warp. Okay, boys. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if I walked into this cactus over here, though? Wouldn't it just be so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking long and hard about it, I am. There's always another cactus to die on. You've got a good point. <laughs> you have all the time in the world to die on a cactus. Oh, okay. Yippee! <laughs> what do you mean, how? I just... I simply used my jetpack. Slurp. Well, here we are. Slurped all the way up. Uh-uh. This is the one time I'm sad that I can't hear the game because of our situation, because uh, this is my favorite song in the game. Ooh. Load that shit up on your soundtrack computer, my man. Yeah, I'm actually just going to play it through Spotify <laughs> while we're doing this. 281,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. That's like one of my favorite little bits of mechanical text in the game. Just like there's a 10 minute sleep mode and it's been that way for like 200,000 years. Yeah, that's a really, really good bit. It's like a small one too, but it's, it's, it's really something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seven minutes, 32 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Warning. Opens emergency door. That's fine. This is probably fine. Have fun. Oh. Oh. You might be able to get back there. Oh, uh, maybe not. I see. <laughs> well? Time to kick the cactus challenge one more time, baby. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> That's okay, you know how to get there. Yeah! Now, now the issue isn't searching for the puzzle. The issue is just... The execution. Did you know that- drifting, drifting through deep space for a moment or two. Did you know if the sun is full of puzzles? It's not worth it. Don't go there. Kind of a marshmallow. Is that like metaphorical or something? Happy pride. Whatever Glad makes you sleep at night, bud. playing one of the best games of all time. <laughs> Be queer, do crime, stand so free. Thank you, Gay Zaster. For the bits, I appreciate it. Happy pride. Whoops. Oh, I'm pressing the velocity button. Oops. <laughs> I, I, my brain was in the, like, jetpack booster mode and not the spaceship mode. <laughs> Here 
here we go to my friend the Ash Twin. <laughs> the kind of stuff that's way better when you're streaming, sliding away from shit in low gravity, bitch, he's so mad. Oh no. Yeah. Understandable. Uh I think you're fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. See? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I think it was Ember Twin. <laughs> Methinks you were too busy looking at your phone and not the road. I forgot to put my suit on. Oh, is that it? <laughs> oh, that's right. The cockpit may have bounced off and I forgot to wear oh. my suit. Oh, oh well. <sighs> you know, apropos of nothing, we really ought to consider putting a warning to like buckle up and put your suits on before you take off in, in, in the ships. We should. Maybe bring that up with the board next time we have a meeting. There's not gonna be a next meeting. He, they, they don't need to know that. This time, <laughs> I have my suit on. Let's see if there's anything new on the computer. Nope. Lethal tail. Gonna... Yeah, of course we have a board. We have several of them. They're made of wood and they're used for our ship. <laughs> and they're all on my boat right now. <laughs> all right, I'm going to step away from a minute. Don't fly into the sun. Okay. No one tell him. No one tell him. Chat, you don't have to be like, Shh, no one tell Mike. I literally walked back in my room and see her getting up the elevator. Like, I know what happened. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. No, to be fair, I did tell them, like... Don't tell Mike, no one tell him. So... Okay. Okay. <laughs> so nothing happened while you were gone. I literally, like, I, I stalled a little bit walking out of my room and just looked at my screen just to, like, see if your your <laughs> crash course was on the way to the sun. I'm like, hmm, could be 50-50. And then I walked back to my room and go up the elevator. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say anything out loud, but I need you to know my thought process was, all right. I'm almost here at the planet. And then I saw the sun so deliciously, tantalizingly <laughs> close, and I was like, mm, maybe a bit of a crash landing is a little, little treat for me. <laughs> I've been good today. <laughs> God, I'm getting horrible flashbacks to that one bit of Dark Souls where I was just like, I deserve a treat today, and then just like fell off a cliff or something. Oh my God. Oh, Dark Souls was so much fun. I'm excited to play the other one someday. Yeah. Hopefully soon. Uh... DS2 will be either way. Yeah. But I'm excited to... Are you, you haven't decided whether you're going to be the wretch or someone else, have you? Uh, I think I'm going to do something else just for the sake of like not doing yet another sorcerer playthrough but mm -hmm. uh i i guess there's no shame in like saying it right now my thoughts is either uh i'm gonna do like uh 
like a, a sort of like cleric e build with like miracles and uh, mm-hmm. big hammers and stuff, or I'm gonna do like uh, like a what's what do they call it when you just go from like strength and dex or something like that? Uh, I don't know, just pure strength. A uh, good. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. I actually don't know. I, I, I yeah. thought I saw like a term for it when it's like, oh, quality, that's it. And ah, quality. Do, do that, and then like, uh, probably go for like fists or something, frankly. There are, uh, I don't know much. Two is the one Dark Souls I don't know too much about. I do know that there's some good fist weapons in that game. Yeah. Uh, where the hell is the, the thing that I'm looking for? Uh, it'll be on the equator. I'm not sure if it's showed up yet. So those, uh, a way to get yourself situated around the Ash Twin is that those uh, solar panel right, pillars are at I'm the poles, mm-hmm. and then all the towers run along the equator. Okay. Um, I think I'll go for the Fuck my tower, bro. Dude, where's one. my tower? That's a different one I've just seen. Uh, ah. I like your strategy of flying backwards. <laughs> it's it's working. It worked. <laughs> yeah. I, why am I still drifting? What? Hmm. Uh, huh? <laughs> what? Huh? What? 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 <laughs> yeah, what? Well. What? Well. Huh? I have no idea where I'm situated now. What? Why did that happen? Your guess is as good as I'm mine, like legitimately. Friend. I'm like legitimately perplexed. What? How did that happen? Uh, I forgot to fix the friction element of my boat. <laughs> yeah, darn. Oh dang! It like reaches over to the switch on my console that says "ice physics on." <laughs> oh dang! I always forget to turn that son of a gun off. Okay, here we are. The sun tower is right next to the. There it is. Yeah. And so the door I was looking for was like on this side, right? Yes, it was on the other side of the bridge. Okay. Let me in, okay? Oh, I, I would that. so love to go into cactus hell. I am brave in cactus room like it's nothing. I'm so strong and brave and fast that anybody loves me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. Ooh. Time to wait it's so fine. patiently. Oh, you just passed this on too. Damn. Fuck. Missed the first cycle. Oh well. Gonna have to wait till the next frame rule. <laughs> you see, the sun is kind of like a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of 21 frames, it's like about a minute. It's about 22 frames. The joke of the joke of 22 minutes. You have to clap and laugh now, chat. <laughs> Mike can do whatever he wants, but you have to clap and laugh now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I missed what the name of the person was that gave that tip, but I saw there was cheddar in their name, and that's a cheese. So hell yeah, thanks for the cheese tip. Whee. Time to turn the music back on. All right. <sighs> Time to turn to the sun and kill my bus driver. Now, less is more with this jump. If you if you get a clear opening to the other side, just kind of go forward and don't touch your thrusters that much. And you should go straight. There you go. Oh. Ooh. I think you got it. I think. Oh. <sighs> yeah, baby. We yeah, baby, we in it. Here we are. The only hit point that matters is the last one. <laughs> yeah, baby. 
Science compels us to explode the sun! Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Idea. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These two were, uh, stuck on here for a little bit too long. Mm. Sure goddamn sounds like it. The, the horrible mix of, like, cabin fever and also, like, possibly creating a total biome killer. Also, like, maybe, like, a hundred feet away from the sun, probably not great. Yeah, a, a hundred feet away from the massive ball of gas and plasma that could kill you at any moment. Uh, devising a plan to possibly... Make See that? Kill. We're gonna make it worse. Yeah, to possibly kill everything in a moment. God, the music here is really good, though. The talk of cabin fever on this space station reminded me of a... Uh, I wonder if they were actually inspired by this. That actually... Uh, I just read the uh, science fiction novel uh, Solaris mm -hmm. recently, which is uh, about a group of people on a space station on an alien planet. Or it's not a space station. It's like a, a floating station that's orbiting a planet. Right. And they all go batshit crazy. Ah. And it's, it's very good. But it, it very much involves cabin fever as they're kind of all jammed into this uh, mm -hmm. station orbiting a planet. Dang. Send me the, the name of that. I'll go look it up later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching Red Giant stage. Warning. Evacuate Sun Station. It's probably fine. Approximate time until Sun Station is destroyed by expanding star. Two minutes and 33 seconds. It's probably fine. Approximate time until star's death. 14 minutes and 3 seconds. Okay. So not only are we on a universal time limit, we're on Sun Station time limit. Uh, this also confirms... Uh... The Nomai didn't cause the sun to explode. This is the end of its natural life cycle. Sun station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never, and could never, cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over. But I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Hi. I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yara, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances, though disappointed. I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. Alright, these. 
these. Anything else of note in this room? It's looking like... No. That's it. I suppose we ought to evac then. It was a really cool mural too. It was like weighing the weight of like the universe versus the weight of the sun kind of thing. Their entire reason that they ended up into this solar system was to get to the eye. Mm -hmm. And apparently their only chance of making it to the eye was potentially exploding the sun. Mm -hmm. I suppose I had to try and go back. One way or another, we're going back. Hey, there's... Nice. Huh, what do you know? I did it. Well done. Sun Tower offline. As of zero minutes, two seconds ago. All other towers online. Goodbye, Sun Station. I, uh... No time to spare, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. Computer? The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Nomai fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the Sun Station could never cause the Sun to go supernova. After the failure of the Sun Station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to a Nomai computer, our Sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. Interesting. I suppose the comet is another thing we could check out then. I've, I've not really seen, like, any of it. I think I landed on, like, its surface once and then careened into the Sun. Yes. And I've kind of avoided it since then, out of spite. <laughs> I'll be honest. You've got some stuff on Ember Twin. You got the Comet. You also have uh, the Diggity Dark Bramble. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd like to go to Ember Twin next, just because like that was what I wanted to do when I started. Uh, hmm. I, I did do some of it, but then I took a detour because, holy fuck, everything else happening. There's also the mystery of however the hell you get inside uh, Ash Twin, but like, it seemed pretty clear in, um, like, our logs and the like that, uh, there's some kind of impregnable shield, um, and probably about the only way in is some secret. They put a, a considerable effort to making it absolutely impregnable. Mm -hmm. So, uh, either there's probably some, like, uh, teleporter what I've got to find somewhere. Evidently not one of these towers. Uh, or... I d don't know what the orb would be. There's also the mystery of the other tower here. Uh... There is the mystery of the other town. Perhaps I should not park my boat so close to the sand. Um... I will... This isn't a hint, more of a reminder. Okay. Uh, because of your awesome Black Hole Forge stunt, you didn't get to thoroughly read all the text that was in there? That's true. 
That's true. You you kind of read something in a hurry, and there was also one thing you missed. That's true. I should... So a trip back there in the near future might be good. That's probably a good idea. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what to do to um, mm -hmm. to activate that. I guess this would be since like the 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 round the run the, the loop is probably going to end soonish anyways. We might as well like. Uh, take a look at the sun. It's fairly red, orangish. Hang on, I need to wait for my stream to catch up. Mm -hmm. You're probably like halfway through. Yeah, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to like try and see if we can do that now. And if not, then you could try. Yeah. If not, then at the very least, I can like get a refresher on how to get to the fucking Black yes. Hole Forge. I can assist you. Oh yeah. Oh right, I have to. Now, now that you're now that you're at this stage of the game, I can just kind of yeah like, help you and give pointers. Um, but like between the, the two, you go ahead. Sorry. No, you go ahead. Uh, the two easiest ways to get into the Hanging City is there's a shortcut on the North Pole, like a little hole that you can go through, or um, one of the earliest pieces that falls in reveals a long bridge on the underside, mm -hmm. like that leads to the crossroads, and that's a good place to land on. Ah. That goes right to the Hanging City. So if you just start looking in holes and try to look for that bridge, you should be able to find it, definitely by this part. I also think you just flew over the shortcut if you want to try that, but both ways always are valid. Bridge, 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 bridge. There's bridge. Uh, hole, hole, I'm getting sucked. Hang on. I'm getting Hang so on. sucked into that hole. <laughs> okay, okay. I have escaped. You it's velocity. Uh, is this Come the way on, to be baby. on? Yeah. Good. All right. Good, 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 good. Is it... Is it this way? It was this one. so? Yeah. So... Uh, the switch was just down hereabouts, wasn't it? I think you were... Yeah, you're next to it. Okay. Yeah. There it is. I love oxygen. I love breathing. Oh, it was uh, by that door that you passed. Uh, okay. Oh, right, it's down here, but it's in there. I'm remembering. Okay. Forge, come down. There you go. Back to our button. Simple as that. Fucking, what do you know? <laughs> it turns out you don't have to brute force the solution to puzzles. <laughs> you can just engage with the puzzle. Oh, that's the a precarious is... perch! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. The thing is, is like you, it, the thing about this game is like, there's no set course of how you discover things. So like, right. because you hadn't even been to Ash Twin or even like, right, I would have had no frame together of reference that the, for that. Yeah, exactly. You didn't have the frame of reference that the spirally shape meant that there is a warp that mm -hmm. goes there. You're just like, well, obviously I should just lie there. Simple enough. It was, it was very much a case of, like, there appears to be some puzzle here that I'm not getting for whatever reason. Uh, however, I want to go there right fucking now. <laughs> and so I attempted. Hearth. What if it just got the, the the angry sun face from Mario Three once it got close enough to popping? <laughs> and when it pops, it has to do like uh. <laughs> it does a little loop. <laughs> <laughs> it does a little loop and then flies straight at you. <laughs> That's even better than what I was thinking of. I was just thinking like it would go like supernova and do like the super like smug and self-satisfied look of like a baby Yoshi or something. <laughs> that would also be good. Okay, let's adjust to the velocity. Yeah, it's kind of hard to chase the twins around the sun like this. Yeah, I am trying to go in like the same direction they're orbiting around, but like at this point I feel like I've, I'm in too deep and kind of have to commit to this. Though, I could literally just go around, but, uh, my velocity. 
Anything is possible. Everything is potable. Everything is potable. Everything is potable. You can, should, and must drink everything you come across. Mm -hmm. This is the moral imperative of scientists everywhere. Uh, I used to be a scientist, and I've talked to several scientists. I was a computer scientist, which meant I spent every day trying to think of new ways to drink my computer. It's very safe. Don't tell anyone about it. Thank you. Wait, I need a name for the two-month reset. We're exploring the sun. Wow, that big white holly turns love. <laughs> I like the idea that exploring the sun is somehow related to Pride Month. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. 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 It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think you're fine. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's no, fine. no, come back. Ashley, come back. <laughs> no, I was so close to you. <laughs> hey, you landed. I landed! It's fine, you don't need your ship anymore. <laughs> I'm starting to hear a song that sounds familiar, however. Oh. So. That's fuck. That's so fucked up. I just have the Outer Wild soundtrack going, and it started at exactly the moment you said that. <laughs> uh, well... I know now what to do, so I suppose I'll just do it next loop. For here, reasons. Always next loop. Yeah. And then once I've satisfied my curiosity around there, we can go back to Ember Twin. We've only been going for, like, almost three hours. We've gotten a lot mm -hmm. done. I'm, like, surprised, yeah. I thought a lot of this today would be, like, me faffing about, like, Oh god, where am I? What was I doing? How do I play this game? And it's like, well, actually I've explored a lot of major areas what I haven't seen before and learned a lot of new things. Uh, it helps that you left the, uh, a lot of, like, very critically important stuff through the very end. <laughs> this, is, this has been a very fun order of learning all this information. I want my ship to die with some dignity here. There we go. That's a good girl. Now then. Oh. Let's go meet the sun with a smile then. Uh. <laughs> that would be a good soundtrack to this game. <laughs> Yoshi's Island soundtrack works remarkably well in a lot of scenarios. Ah. <laughs> Rex and chat. You can now play as Luigi. <laughs> God. Good news about the sun. It wasn't turned into a bomb by our predecessors. Oh. That's good, I guess. It's real good! They don't need to know it was turned into a bomb by the forces of nature. Time turned it into a bomb. Time makes bombs of us all. Is this anything? <laughs> a wizard said this at one point. <laughs> A wizard is always saying this somewhere. It's the same fucking wizard every time, too.
Okay, I've got a yes or no question for you. Mm hmm Is there any way to land on Hollow's Lantern? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh... In fact, I'll just be explicit because it's entirely optional. There is literally one thing to find on Hollow's Lantern. Okay. Uh, if you're me, you... <laughs> You just kind of uh, brute. This is the one of the things that I brute forced on my first playthrough, mm -hmm. which is uh, Hollow's Lantern is also subject to a little bit of time changing. In that, uh, as it spurts lava away, the lava on the surface goes down, oh. and by the end of a loop, you can actually just kind of walk on it and explore. Okay. Uh, I, however, did not know this, and I saw something on it. And I was like, "Hey, I want to go there," and I just jammed my ship in and went to it. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay, so it was... Yeah, the fact that people in ch multiple people in chat are like, wait, really? Like, that goes... Yeah, like, it took me, like... What is this? Playing this game two full times. Uh, that's the Quantum Moon, I think. Oh. Okay. The Quantum Moon has that nice little... Uh, Goodbye, Quantum Moon. White, white umbra around it whenever the sun is behind it. Okay, something has cracked into the planet. Let's see that egg open up. It's not open yet, so let's go look for the other shortcut. As soon as I can adjust my orbit. There we go. Is the North Pole here? So the hole was. Um. There's like a field of ice with a bunch of like little kind of uh. Buildings? No, it's not buildings. They're like little patches of snow. Okay. Kind of. I wish I was synced with your screen. Ah, I think you just passed over. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm at that place right now. You're on top of it. So in that little uh lake, little pond and stuff like that, there should be a hole. Okay. Wasn't it like on a was it like on a hill or something? Or was it Oh no, just... it was like right to your it's just in there somewhere. Okay. Just like just like a little. Okay, boss. Uh... Go closer to the other side. No, not that way. Oh, okay. Follow the melt water. That's the proper word for it. Mm -hmm. Ah, there you go. There we go. Hello, hole. Let's make you go down. And I'll make you go up again later. By which I mean right now. Okay, so... From here, the controls would just be... Like... Oh, you're right there, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. It's almost like they meant for you to do this. Oh, weird! You mean to tell me the game was designed in such a smart way that if you know what you're doing, you can do it relatively quickly and then go on with your life? Crazy, I know. Wild. Who in their right mind could think of something like that? I actually don't think I knew about this shortcut on Brittle Hollow when I first played. Ah. Found out about it later. I just used my uh, landing on the bridge strategy, and that worked nine times out of ten. Hell yeah. Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> Which is why it I works. did the brute force. Dynamite is a martial art. Landing on a bridge is an intended parking lot. I like the, like, ambiance of the wind on the surface of this planet. Mm hmm It's good. Fuel. Son, where are you? 
Oh, my good friend the sun. It's my good pal the sun! Thank you, young Nanner, for the seven month resub. Happy Sugiversary and happy Pride Month. Happy Trans Pride! Points. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Let's course correct a little bit here. Let's look out for the other planet. Of these was it again uh it's the kind of triangular pointy one i think it might still be under the sand okay so we do have to wait a little bit yeah just a little it's not this way it's... that's round 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 I reckon I should ask this just because I'm paranoid about it now. Uh, is mm -hmm. is is the audio like okay in the stream? Folks watching it, is it? It's not like desyncing again, is it? It's fine now. Yeah. How are we? What the status check on whether whether or not one of our two things fixed it? Okay, it's, it's fine. Good? Good. Okay. Thank fucking god. <laughs> so fixing uh the timestamp thing or not having a side stream fixed it. One of those or both. one of those two. Also, Socks, thank you for the raid. I hope you Welcome. had a wonderful stream today. Uh, we're in space, and I may have hurtled into the sun a couple times, but that's the end of my statement. <laughs> oh God, what am I looking for again? I don't remember. Should be the next one after the round tower, I think. Okay. Round. 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 So one way will be the twin towers. Oh god, I can't call them that. Uh, the other way <laughs> no, will no, be. No, 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 no. <laughs> the two towers, like, like Lord, Lord of the, the Rings Ring. story. Uh, <laughs> and then the other way should be the Brittle Hollow Tower. Okay, so this one hereabouts then looks like. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah, it does look like the, the, the columnar basalt. Yeah, that's what it is. Basalt, basalt. Visual, visual identity. Stop yelling at me. I can say what I want. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, my footwork bid. <laughs> oh, God bless the eye of the universe. Voltacat's got my back. The, the game does call them the Ash Twin Towers. That's true. That that phrase was already in my brain. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do about it. Oh, well, it's cool. All the planets are, like, aligned like this. Yeah, it's cool when the, the planets all just line up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me in, okay? Let me in, okay? Well, I got some time to wait, so I'm going to get up for a sec and turn on a light in my room, because it's a little dark in here, all of a sudden. Sounds good. It is now a little less dark in here, all of a sudden. Life, Life's never humdrum. Do you think Rem Lazar is out in space somewhere? God, I hope not. I desperately hope that, uh... I, this is just, like, speculation. I imagine... Uh, the the end of this game is going to involve either like finding a way to stop uh, the sun from exploding or like finding a way to ensure that somehow in some way life still goes on. I desperately hope uh, that even when we get to that point, Rem Lazar is dead forever. 
<laughs> Return the status charged. Okay. Black Hole Forge. Left. go visit. It's also this pad here that we can try and read something on. <laughs> no cost is too high to ensure the obliteration of Remlazar! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well said. Garfield Gaming in chat says Rem Lazar is the eye of the universe. Mods? Mods? Oh, mods? God. Mods? Mods? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm deleting that comment. No spoilers. Annihilate this son of a bitch! <laughs> where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp towers being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The White Hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the High Energy Lab on Amber Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow. He's familiar with them. Okay, so we read that one already. Thank you, Agile Burb, for the tip. Do you think the Nomai had a Dahir in Saw equivalent? I like to think that the Nomai were such a highly advanced utopia that, uh, they had moved on beyond, long beyond the need for Dahir and Shot equivalents. <laughs> yeah, they, like, they found out warp technology and, like, interstellar travel, but, like, they're... Their shuttles are like bottle rockets. <laughs> like they don't have thrusters. They just kind of like launch them in one direction and then hope for the best. Mm -hmm. I, I suppose in that way that is kind of like the earthquake bed of space travel, isn't it? I mean, sort of. <laughs> they, it, it, it's not comparable, is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> they simply could not have had it to hear. There, there is no possible universe in which the Nomai could have had that. Thank you. I only post BB. For the gift sub, and for the BB. Appreciated. Regarding the work towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? You don't need the alignment angle to be exact, it only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation, like that one time. <laughs> I enjoy your precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai. Provided the next Nomai is not Poke. <laughs> oh, cute. It, like, lights up to show you. My statue. There's, a uh, one more scroll, I think, hanging around. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> disaster in chat. I, this is just a very silly thing, but I just like that with no no punctuation they wrote, what is the T the girls are fighting? <laughs> I think it's Oolong. <laughs> <sighs> of note, Yara believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate, because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Huh. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? 
That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the Hourglass Twins are so close together they function as a single astral body, with a shared alignment point in between them. Huh. So... One of the towers will never work? One of them thought that. Ah. And the other one chided them for it. Like, oh, you silly, you silly Billy. You fucking fool. Uh... I saw someone mention in chat that apparently that scroll was added, like, after the game was launched? Yes. That's... is that to indicate that that one tower that I stood in that got sanded, like, can take you somewhere? The warp core looked like it worked. Mm-hmm. We'll have to return and investigate someday. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ashtwin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashtwin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Damn. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Hmm. Shiplog update. I'm assuming this is just going to make us look at the normal thing that it does for the Ashwin project. Yep. Probably. These fools. These... These horrible fools. Uh, these wretched goons. I'm still curious if we're ever going to find out. Uh, I'm assuming we will. I'm assuming it's that kind of game. But I wonder what uh, Goon the Third corresponds to there. We'll just have to find out. Yeah. Anything up here? Uh, I probably shouldn't fall on this. This appears to be a trick. Yeah. That's the broken one. Which is why it's... Uh... Though I suppose it couldn't hurt to check, right? <laughs> right? What's the worst that could happen? We get our gravity flipped a little bit, and then we can just, like, jump back up there? Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. Black Hole Forge. Uh... Exit to surface. Okay, so that just takes you all the way back up. In case you want to go back to uh, the top. Anything down this way? This is the uh, the canonical normal way up here. Mm -hmm. That hasn't been interrupted by time and game design. Right. This is this is how they originally intended for you to get here. Uh, they being you know the civilization rather than the game developers. Uh, and then you know. Uh, you know. The end of the world happened for them, so, uh, you know, you'll have to forgive them if they weren't able to manage upkeep on the building during all of that. <laughs> ah, uh, a little disorienting, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's take that work back. Thank you, Fourfax, for the six-month resub. Wow. Half a year already. Thank you, Holly, for the good streams and good times. Thank you. For the six months of support. I really appreciate that. Whee! Now you're back here. Yippee! Where were the Lord of the Wings, the two towers? Again? You're heading towards them. I suppose in a roundabout way, I'm heading towards the map. Uh, yes. Uh, 
But also, I suppose I was also literally heading towards them in this one. Uh, watch out for this man. Hold that for me, will ya? <laughs> this aligns with also I could duck into this room when sand comes you sand is coming well Where, so you know where, where that are people he's... in chat calling me a fiend? What did I do? What did I say? What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> um, you know that these towers, um, are the twins. Mm -hmm. And we just read that thing in the Black Hole Forge. Right. That mentions that the Hourglass Twins, the center of their astral body is right in between them. Mm-hmm. Central of their astral bodies, right in between. To reiterate on the point earlier, uh, they added that one scroll into the game because uh, this was the hardest puzzle in QA. Okay. Uh, I feel like there's something about that statement I'm not getting. Uh, See if you can figure it out. So. Uh, <laughs> you have you have many of the pieces together. R repeat what you just said, then, because I'm trying to I'm trying to parse exactly. <laughs> the warp towers, right? Warp you to another astral body as long as the astral body is right above the tower, right? right. Like how uh, the white hole station has to align with something. Okay. Mm -hmm. These two towers are linked to the hourglass stints, which you're standing on. Mm -hmm. The center of the astral body is right in between them. Center For instance, you warped body. to Ember Twin while Ember Twin was right above. Right. So this is only going to work when they're, like, aligned with each other, like when the sand pillar is happening. Right. Let me know if you want a straight answer. I... I feel like this is one of the few cases where, like, I might just because, like, I'm listening to the words and. Going I'm now. Ah. Welcome to the Ash Twin Project. Oh! If you don't step on the pad, you'll get worked back. Now that it's happened, I understand what that means. Yes. So, so it's the tower that warps you to the Ash Twin Project, but it would only work when uh, the towers, or when when it's aligned with the center of the two of them together, which is when Ember Twin is Ember above. Ember Twin it. is above it. And yes. when that happens is when the sand comes down. So it's a puzzle of timing where you have to walk into it when they're aligned, yes. rather than just uh, wait on it and then the sand sucks you up and you get tricked. I understand it retroactively now, and I don't think I would have gotten it unless you gave just told me that. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 20 minutes, 32 seconds ago. Received data from previous cycles. Masks receiving data from Prime Tracking Module. Giant's Deep Memory Statue. Timber Hearth Memory Statue. Two minutes until end of cycle transmission. So that's the slight leap in logic that you don't really figure out until you get here, which is uh, masks can link to something that isn't a person, ah. which in this case, one of them is linked to the probe tracking module. And the other two are you and Gabra. I see. I'm not going to have time to read any of this. It is now the end of the world. Oh, is it happening? Yes. Oh, OK. Well, will just stick around. We'll come back here. Take a look around. See what happens. Yeah. 
you're in arguably the most important place in the entire game, so. I reckon. Let's, let's stick around for a while. Artificial gravity control. Human yeah, that puzzle control. stumped a lot of people. Either because they make the other connection, which is I have to wait until Ember Twin's on top, and the thing that they don't realize is there's a little cubby that you can stand under while the sand is above you. Mm-hmm. I, I had realized the cubby was there, but I was like, okay, so then I obviously have to come out right after the sand is gone, because I just yes. assumed the sand would suck me up right away. Oh, I see. Trying to spin around here makes me spin because of the gravity. So you have it to disable spin. the gravity to turn this off. Why would you want to turn this off? I don't know, would you? The thing said that it would shut down the Ash Twin project. Right. And we need that to stay alive. How close are we? Hey, you probably should have gotten melted by now, huh? Yeah! Uh... What you thinking about? I have a feeling if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Well, all right. You sure? I don't even think I would believe me. I'm gonna go to space now. Okay, have fun. I'll try. So you don't need the launch code, sir? Oh, okay, you got it. <sighs> A hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no my masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant's Deep, and Timber Hearth, respectively. There is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. There's more to explore here. Let's see, we've also got Black Hole Forge. Warp Tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. A nobody named Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Yeah, I, I don't feel so bad that, like, the, 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 oh, hang on, my KB per second is zero again. Uh, oh. Looks like we're back. Okay, that's, man, I got one tech problem figured out, and my internet just decided Ugh. to be a shit tonight. It's oh, been well. alright for, like, a, over an hour. Yeah, but, 
Ugh, lots of drop frames, unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Uh, what were you saying? What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I guess I don't t feel too bad that, like, basically the one puzzle in the game where I went, I don't get this, I need you to help me here, is like, the one that was, like, so difficult for people in testing, and after the game was launched, yes. that, like, they had to put in more hints for it. They they had to do a lot of, like, very small changes to explain more of that puzzle without completely giving it away. Like, the, mm -hmm. uh, inside the Black Hole Forge, there's, like, designs of the towers, and those looked, like, a little different, but it was apparently confusing enough that they had to, like, make it very exact that, like, they show the the profile view of the tower and the top of the tower and then let you infer mm. that. And then they added that one scroll that talks about the shared Lyman point and all that sort of stuff like that. Okay, yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's, it, 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 in a game that's, like, this, like, solid and, like, this good at, like, leading you along without just, like, giving you the fucking solution uh, mm -hmm. right away. Like, it's... I, I guess it's not all that surprising that, like, maybe, like, once or twice they would like stumble a little bit in terms of like how to tell you uh, to figure yeah. out this puzzle so it's like yeah that, like I said that fair. is the hardest puzzle in the game mm -hmm. completely fair it's all smooth sailing from here yippee diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body warp tower alignment angles are not exact they only need to be within five degrees of the astral body center this results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped yeah i had assumed um that uh like if i had like tried to even step on the warp pad when the sand was above it that i just would have been like instantly sucked back up because of the one time i was sucked up and i was like mm -hmm. oh i see so it's yeah it's a weird it's a weird jump to make you you're, mm -hmm. you're supposed to gather like okay this is when i need to go so what i need to do is wait until like hide under the cubby and then mm -hmm. thrust downward as i'm stepping onto the platform to do yeah it. it was it was like confirmation bias was fucking me over because I was like, oh, yeah. well, this didn't work that one time, so it's never going to work. It reminds me of uh, ages and ages ago. One of the few things I had like ever seen of Dark Souls before I like played it myself was uh, someone else who coincidentally was also playing through it, like, knowing nothing, getting no hints, getting mm -hmm. no help, and, like, I think he was actively not looking at his chat just so that, like, people couldn't right. accidentally tell him things. And, um... He had talked to uh, Andre the Blacksmith, like, when he was, um, you know, like, 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 human, full of the humanity good stuff, and, like, was like, oh, okay, so you can talk to this guy, and at the end of his dialogue, you know, he says, don't get yourself killed, neither of us want to see you go hollow. At one point, he went up to Andre when he was hollow, uh, but didn't go, like, close enough to him, like, barely just not close enough to him for the dialogue oh. prompt to pop up. And so he assumed, oh, I'm hollow. He doesn't want to talk to me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like, the most unavoidable thing as a game designer, that, like, it's... You can't... Because, like, that kind of thing, that's, like, a freak accident. Yeah. Like, that is just one little slip that immediately shapes their bias of how the game works while being entirely wrong. And it's like mm -hmm. that that is an instant where you do need someone to intervene and be like, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 you fucked up. Sorry, yeah. dude. <laughs> this time, actually, by sheer coincidence, you did something very slightly wrong. Yes. And that's why it's good to have a co-pilot along with you sometimes. Yeah. Also, because if the co-pilot knows more about what uh, you're doing than you do, they can have a good laugh well, about it. Uh, <laughs> too. <laughs> Perhaps this time I do a bit of Ember Twin. Uh, while I wait for some sand. You have a few things left in the Hanging City, and you also have to solve the mystery of that cool rock. Yeah! I love cool rocks. Now, where is my friend, the Warp Tower? There you are. My friend, the Catapult. My friend, the Gravity Squeeze. Oh god, oh god, come on now, come on now, there we go, there we go. Down, down, down with thrustways, and let's let gravity do its magic. I 
nice, solid place to land here, bats. And we're off to the races. I know you had mentioned, like, talk of, like, speedruns for this game before, but man, especially, like, having seen all the little shortcutsy bits now that I- as I have, this game is probably really, like, cool if you just know, like, how to get to places right away in terms of, like, a speedrun. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite little things about it. Hell yeah. Let's avoid the ghost matter. That platform to the right is actually totally safe. Shit, fuck, fuck. Ooh! Uh oh. <laughs> can you get out? I don't know if you can get out. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Victory at sea! <laughs> Victory at sea! <laughs> Christ! I would like to refuel my oxygen, please! I would like one breathing, please! Just a, just a smidgen of oxygen for me, thank you. Mayhaps just a squeeze of breathing, then. Let's turn all the lights on. Okay, so... We did the high energy lab already. Yes. This way at the bottom here. Uh, there's also this building here. Hello? You at home? Just an elevator. Just an elevator. Okay. So that is just going back up ways. Noted. I suppose it's probably a good idea to start from the bottom up anyways, just because of how... sand? Mm hmm I think the next one up is the Stepping Stone District. Which is that one, I believe? Looks to be so. Yeah, Stepping Stone Cave. Let's go Spilanki. Uh, I would suggest people in chat stop asking, hey, has Holly seen X or seen Y? On yeah, the off chance just... that you, like, say a blatant spoiler, and I look over and go, like, hey, what is that? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Some of you, I don't even know what you're talking about, but just stop talking. <laughs> also, just, yeah, just, like, in general, maybe, maybe don't, don't be doing that. You know, for my sake, as much as the sake of other people here. Well, don't be... Okay, uh, Mephwin's in chat. Don't be subtle about it. Just don't talk about it. Yeah. It's simple. This is sand. Okay. Also, yeah, I'm... The, the any percent world record is real short because this is the kind of game I imagine where it's like it is if if you know short. exactly how to get to the win condition you can just go directly to the win condition. This is uh I I I have like a fucking complex against using the word Metroidvania, but it's like the closest analog I can think of. Uh, this is a Metroidvania where like you don't get like the ability to pr progress further from like power ups. You get the ability to progress further from just learning about how this universe works. You get knowledge. <laughs> and you can get the knowledge, well, unlike a Metroidvania, you can get the knowledge in basically any order. <laughs> Which is very good. Oh, hey. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Solanum. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the Anglerfish Overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and Dad are tall, so you and I will be tall too. All the children wrote this. We heard about, um... We heard about Solanon before. Oh. She was the one in, uh... We saw a couple from her on Brittle Hollow, and one from her in the shuttle that landed on the quantum map. Mm -hmm. 
she grew up. Which I love. Which I love that because like that's one of the little things that's not explicitly explained, but you realize like, oh, Solanum grew up grew up on Ember Twin, and then like moved around in the mm -hmm. solar system as the Nomai developed. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out because I'm bad at remembering the names of anything, so I don't know if I would have noticed yes. that on my own. Yes, all of them, all of them kind of blur together. Mm -hmm. Especially when you like play this game in like sessions that are weeks apart. Or a month. Or a month. Huh. Kind of lost in this cave. Oh, this is back, back this way. Thank you, my friend Scout, for lighting up this cave. Thank you, my dear friend Scout, for lighting up this cave. Ooh, running low on fuel, too. Mayhaps it's just time to go back. Oh, that sure was a picture. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> Bad time to fall downstairs! Uh oh. It's fine. cave bit. And some, and some text from children. Mm -hmm. This is... Going up ways. More text from children. We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole... You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go into Stepping Stone Cave, and then up and into the Fossil Fish Cave. I tried to get to the Fossil Fish through the Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Taggett can't fit through the Anglerfish Overlook Hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. Who cares? Ilex is still the tallest. <laughs> Ilex <laughs> is uh, one of the scientific names for types of holly plants. <laughs> I know that one because it's my name. Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Gotta feed the fish. Fish needs a snack too. Got this one already. So that one just goes back to the cave. Oh, this is a door. What was this door? This was the door that led me back from the cave, right? I think so. Yes. I th yeah, okay. Let's get Adel. Um, okay, so... Next about would be... There's upways over here. I think the next level up is the anglerfish cave, and then the topmost level is the, uh, I think it's an eye shrine. Mm -hmm. Let's see, so... Uh, grab us some air. That's some ghost matter, baby. Hmm. That sure is a chunk of floating geometry. Oh, it huh. sure is. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Gravitational anomalies, you know how it is. You know. We all know how this is on like a regular daily basis.
Probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Is there anything in here we would want to investigate? Uh, you... Go to that other platform right over there? There you go. Please, oh, please, oh, please! There you go. Nothing. Be good. welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest, we will have to learn. Enter, and open your mind to its possibilities. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Did something happen to it? I I do like this like cultural idea they have of like uh like religion and faith as like, you know, a, a form of scientific study in itself sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal? Or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? I like that line a lot, actually. Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. I, I do really like the framing of the sort of, like, the... The, the system of, like, faith and religion they have uh, about the eye, where it's less, like, devotion uh, to the eye itself. Oh, this is probably another way in. Uh, less, like, devotion to, like, the idea of the eye itself and, like, what it could be, and more, like, devotion to, uh, like, learning about what it could be, like, what it could mean. Uh, mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Oh, never mind. That's, that's just the way out is what I found. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a secret way. Sand. Ah. See, it begins to fill. And the fish fossil ever look. All oh, right, we've already seen this. Uh, you gotta feed it a light snack, and it'll show you the way. Apparently. I imagine that whatever we could learn from the fish here, we're a little too late to. Maybe a bit. Although I do see a hole there. He's eating a lot of yummy sand. Snack for my buddy! You will have to get to the fish a little earlier mm -hmm. if you want to feed it its lantern. I do want to give the, the good guy a goodie. He deserves it. He's working so hard. Oh! 
Okay. Oh. <sighs> now is the time. Uh, you can either have a uh, painful, crushing death, or you can uh, meditate. It's like a common, peaceful death. <laughs> and here I was thinking I'd make it out in time to make it back to the Ash Twin Project. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sand. Ah, oh, sand. It's fine grained, it's soft, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> I love it. You ever just think about how good sand is? I mean, not really. We don't have a lot of it over here. It's mostly just trees and ice and dirt. Sure, it's at Ashton. He could probably tell you all about sand. I suppose he could. Maybe I'll go pay him a visit. Right now. Sounds good. Have fun in space. Yippee! I instinctively hit the jetpack jet button, not realizing I didn't have it equipped yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second, where's my boost? My boost? Boost! <laughs> I had a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least, by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on Amber Twin. Nomai children used to play a game in Fossil Fish Cave. There was a way to enter Fossil Fish Cave from Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. Okay, so, so you give the guy a light and then it's easier to see where the entrance is. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Am Basically, the, the stepping snow cave is right below him, mm -hmm. but you don't know where it is below him unless you put a lantern. Mm. Okay, so we've read these first two bits already. Now, I traveled to this solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. I'm surprised that, like, Eye of the Universe isn't just, like, a point on here. Yeah! It's, um... It isn't. Which is... I don't know. I don't think there's actually a particular reason for that. Mm -hmm. Like, like of the whole like corkboard style thing. Uh, I mean, I guess everything is connecting back to the Ash Twin project, but like, mm -hmm. it feels like everything also like looping back to the Eye of the Universe would also be like a fun thing to see on the corkboard. Yeah, I think the the corkboard. My guess is the corkboard is more about uh, the game mechanically rather than straight lore uh, because yeah, uh the the bigger nodes on the ship log are important things mm -hmm. they're they are the things that you need to know about but uh the eye of the universe isn't exactly a i'm like a mechanical a, a cork thing you need to know piece about. Yeah. yeah that's like... it's the goal that, that's, like, the kind of thing that's, like, okay, very much designed so that if this even shows up in the video game, it's, like, right at the end, basically, mm. I imagine. I don't know. I mean, I, I definitely who, don't who know. Who can I'm say? Just it, just, it just seems extremely, like, a. Uh... God, I'm trying to think of, like, another similar example in, like, a work of fiction, but, like, the closest thing I can think of is, like, uh... The Eye of the Universe is when... Darth Vader tells Luke that he's his dad, except, you know, it's the Eye of the Universe coming out to tell you that it's yes. everyone's dad or something. Hello, son. Hello. I'm your dad. Thank you. Get, you. <laughs> you get to the Eye of the Universe and you feed it a scout and it goes, thank you. Very and, good. And some text appears on your screen saying, you win. <laughs> It plays a cute little jingle and it cuts the credits very fast. Okay, we got air. Let's turn the lights on. 
literally love flipping the light switch. <laughs> like, come on, bro, there goes the dark. The only problem is it makes it kind of hard to see what's what. <laughs> Little bit. I suppose. However, pretty. 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 Above here is anglerfish zone. That's gravity cannon. Gravity cannon, so... That's the way you came in. Oh, yeah. So, danglerfish would be... That's the eye shrine. Danglerfish is to the... That way. So this is I think it's that door right there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's time to feed our good boy a snack. Yummy. Hey, your buddy boy! Who's hungry? Oh, yeah, me, me, me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I love having a meal like this. Is this what I was supposed to do? Yes. Okay, so. Oh, it should work. Yeah. Okay, good. So you can, like, if you look at your scout around, you can see, like, below it. Mm hmm. Okay, time to get back to cave. To cave. Cave was... Leave there. Hmm, it's delicious to me. Stepping stone cave, there we go. I'm not sure uh, how much longer I'm going to go for tonight. Between, like, uh internet problems and, like, the the residual stress over solving the desync problems and also just the fact that it's kind of fucking hot uh, today. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe another, like... It's almost ten, I just realized. So, hmm. However much longer you want to go. I'm, <laughs> I'm good for it. A little bit longer. Ah, I see! I've entered the cave. Munch, munch. Munch, munch. Whoever was it... Uh, whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Oh, whoever was it, like tag sort of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a, bl a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're in. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. Oh! Cute! Also, these fish are blind. These fish are blind. Huh. That'll be helpful, I'm sure, when we get to Dark Bramble. Because the one time we went to Dark Bramble, uh, I did kind of immediately like run into the gaping maw of a fish and get eaten. Did get a little mad at you. I, I did get a little bit gobbled up. Anglerfish study. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. I mean, I guess that makes sense. There was no food here. Uh, the long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used this growth to attract prey. A lure? An update. Now, Lorraine, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful! I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. <laughs> 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 oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. What is this thing? a one-way door, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that looks busted up. 
I think I definitely saw that door before. Interesting. Oh, this just like takes you up here. Right here. I see. Yes, you could. Uh, it, they mean for you to jump into it to get up to the top, but you were an expert and you just boosted off the the lore. <laughs> because actually, was... I feel like that might have been. This is purely speculation, but I feel like that's kind of what they originally wanted you to do, and then they like players might have had trouble with that, and they added the gravity lift for you. I in my brain, I saw the gravity squeeze, and I just kind of went like, "Oh, that's gonna take me to like a different room entirely." Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't want to do that. I want to explore this one. <laughs> so you basically got everything now. Yeah. Uh, Except for the um, riddle of cave. Riddle of cave. I'll give you another hint that is reminding you sure. of stuff, which is uh, the signs that said that their friend Collius went missing uh, because of the rock. Um, all mentioned that they were going to check out the lake bed cave, which is the bottom of the crater of the North Pole where Chert is. Okay. Crater and at you... the North Pole where Chert is. Yes. It's, or it's at the bottom of the, the dry lake bed. Okay. Which I think you need to wait until a new loop for because there's sand now. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, mayhaps we resurface and go see the Ash Twin? There's always more to do. How'd you get up again? Uh, I suppose I could have gotten up through uh, Caveway, now that I think about it. Yeah. I also run a little bit out of fuel, so mayhaps I should stop by my boat. Boy, boy, doy, 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 doy. Please grab the ledge! No! <laughs> come on, bud! <laughs> there we go. That'll do ya. I did this so effortlessly last time, and now that I'm trying to do it, it's like, <laughs> whoops, sorry, bud. Whoops, you need to put the fuel into the jetpack. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Got me sweating a little there. <laughs> oh, it's not too far, at least. Uh... Well. Well. We've got plenty of air, at least. <laughs> so. Suppose it's not too, too bad. Nearly there. I do enjoy people in chat, uh, that are like, wondering about the specific biology of the fish. It's neat. There's a lot of there's a lot of questions about the fish. Mm -hmm. there, yeah, that's a great point. The fact that the lore is connected by just the bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that seems like uh, some visual design stuff outweighing biological accuracy because I'm pretty sure real anglerfish don't have a a bone connecting their lore to their head. They do not. 
The Nomai would be so proud of all of you doing science about this anglerfish. <laughs> I'm just saying. Exactly. This is this is the kind of shit they were into. The ev the evidence is tacit in the game, so it's our it's our job to figure out what it means. Exactly. The lower bone is connected to the head bone. This is basic stuff. Waiting for Godot, too. Waiting for sand. <laughs> Here it comes. Have you missed anything big in the last two hours? Oh, buddy, you're about to see something big. Just a moment. Just a moment. Just a little bit. We, uh... And by we, I mean Mike found. And by found, I mean Mike told me. <laughs> how to get into the Ash Twin project. <laughs> because I had literally all of the clues and wasn't putting it together until he told me the solution, and then I went, oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Anyways. Welcome to the Ash Twin project. I'm starting to realize now I had, like, offhandedly seen, uh, this once in a video of someone playing this game. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, but, fun. like, I had no context for what this was. I assumed there was some way to, like, warp to an alternate puzzle dimension with, like, weird platforming segments that were, like, looping mm -hmm. inwards on themselves, and I was like, oh, okay, I see. This is, like, the challenge level of Outer Wilds that you can go to <laughs> where you can do jump tricks. And so throughout this whole playthrough, I've been idly wondering to myself, I wonder how you get to that one weird puzzle room. Realizing now... Wasn't a puzzle room. Just this. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no coins, no, no bonuses, no nothing. <laughs> And so I had more or less completely forgotten about it, except for the context of like, you know, I have to remember something about a weird twisting puzzle platform room. Uh, <laughs> today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I can- I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. This whole wall is like the- the grand lore dump of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, you've made your way in here, now here is, uh, everything written out as explicitly as possible. I- I- I figured it was gonna be as much. I figured it would either be that, or like... Something related to, uh, all of our memories would have been warping back and forth from here. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower for us from the, uh, to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Kasava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident. The core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. <laughs> the important point is that we are all connected through Ash Twin now. And also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. <laughs> Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Yeah, I remember reading something about that in another lore entry. Mm -hmm. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? <laughs> or is Mallow part of the problem? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Maybe telling them that his partner, his dearly beloved, is going to be there will get him to ease up on, on the juice a little bit. Consider, however... That maybe his partner wants him to go floor it with the juice. This is this is his way out. <laughs> the perfect crime. <sighs> Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today. 
and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin Project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pai and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin Project requires. Oh. Ah. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task, in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. It wouldn't do that. It, can, it cannot ever do that. We've learned that. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the Orbital Probe Cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. That's... that's why the probe is launching. I, I thought, oh, maybe someone, like, got into wherever it's being controlled from and, like, tampered with it, and now they're, like, forcing it to fire. No! It is designed when the Ash Twin Project receives the power it needs from the fucking supernova to send a signal back in time to fire the probe. My fucking god, it's all connected. <laughs> <laughs> exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last the precise 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to, to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the Sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system. And we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. So. I'm putting my controller down for a second. They <laughs> designed the Ash Twin Project to specifically store data, information that gets sent to it. Uh, and then compress all of that data and using the power of, like, time dilation compression what have you, from the interaction between black holes and white holes, take all of that data, send it back in time exactly 22 minutes. Uh, their plan was to detonate the fucking sun in one time loop, uh, staying in their perfectly safe capsule, uh, and having all of the data retrieved sent back in time exactly 22 minutes. Uh, the first loop of which would have, like, no data, basically. It doesn't matter. Because the main thing is that it's sending the signal 22 minutes back in time to launch the probe. The probe would then go about collect data of its own. And then, uh, like, during that 22-minute sequence, and then after that, uh, they would go, oh, okay, well, we got all this data. That means uh, the plan is working. Time to make the sun go supernova. Quote, unquote, again, even though, you know, it's the only one in our, uh, uh, in, in, in our perceived time loop. Okay, and so then they would make the sun detonate, sending all of the data from that probe back in time. They would go, okay, we have all of this data. We're going to launch the probe again, either in some other way uh, or in the same way to see if we're getting more data continuously, uh, 
for as long as they need to, forever and ever and ever, getting all of this data until they've decided, okay, we have all of the data we need from all of these past timelines in which we caused the sun to go supernova, wiping out all life, including ourselves, here. We have all the information. We no longer need to explode the sun. We can decommission the sun station. We can decommission the Ash Twin project. We have everything we came here for. We're good. Recursion with no end, except the end is them having enough information to flip the failsafe switch to end it forcefully. That's but they, about it. But they would never figured out how to blow up the fucking sun on their own. That was the one thing they were missing. They were never able to do it. My god, okay, okay. They were never able to figure that out. So the whole thing just sat inert for 200,000 years. Thousands of years just waiting until, by sheer complete coincidence, we touched one of their ancient memory statues that was, like, uncovered by archaeologists. We found one of their ancient statues uncovered by archaeologists, linked ourselves to it, linked our data to it. By sheer complete coincidence, uh, right before our sun was about to go supernova. Well, here's the thing. The probe fired before you linked with the statue. You watched it fire on its first loop. Oh my god, you're right. And you learned just now that the statues would activate, or actually, I think you also learned this on Statue Island. The statues will activate under two circumstances. One, which is something broke, or two, it worked, and they found the eye of the universe. In which case, the statue would latch on to the nearest person to it and create a link. So, we've been looping through possibly dozens, hundreds, thousands of loops uh, where we never linked up with that statue. Possibly. And the only reason by sheer coincidence that they started working like that is because either... Something has gone horribly wrong? Or it worked? Or... Those sons of bitches, they did it. Also, Gabbro has been looping longer than we have, presumably. Actually, no. Oh. I didn't know this until, like, a whole playthrough and a lot of other research later. If you talk... Gabbro actually probably has the most dialogue in the game. Because he has a whole sect of dialogue for if he is the first person you visit on your first loop. Oh my god. Because at that point, he had just linked with a statue and nothing else had happened to him. So it'll be like, hey, what's up? Good to see you. Glad to see you're out in space. Hey, something weird happened to me. This statue just did a weird thing. Oh, cool. That happened to me too. Oh, weird. Oh, well. And then the sun explodes. You go back to him and it's like, hey, did you die? Did you die just now? Did that happen to you too? Oh my god. <laughs> And this is like, I didn't know this. And like, apparently this is like a, a smidgen of dialogue that almost nobody finds because almost nobody goes immediately to Gabriel right. in the first loop. So the thing that everyone sees is like, so, hey, I have been dying. How about you? Right. The, the thing what most people see is the thing you see presumably after like three or four loops or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, my so God. So Gabro died for the first time the same time you did. So you and Gabro have been doing the same number of loops, but... Oh my god. In other words, your statues latched on at the same time. Hey, what the fuck? That's 50 gift subs. Whoa. Holy shit, Thank the you. tunnel man? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is obscenely generous of you. My god. Holy fuck. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Lots of taking at once. Sure, goddamn is. <laughs> and 
anyway, you got most of it. <sighs> Artificial gravity control. The artificial gravity control? It's just the fact that it's spinning. I see. I suppose that makes sense, given you're, like, smack dab right in the middle of the planet. Jesus Christ, there. Thank you so much, Tunnel Man. That is uh, a lot of money to drop at once. I'm very appreciative. Whoopie daisy, there we're fine. So we could oops, disable the Ash Twin project. You could? We could. You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. Uh, this, I'm presuming, would mean that we would no longer be able to loop through time. Yes. Huh. And now, you don't have to answer this, of course. Uh, I'm wondering if that's there for reasons as in we'll eventually need the, the fucking warp core here for something. Or if it's just set dressing to be like, well, it makes sense that they would have the off switch here because they need the off switch to be able to stop the sun from exploding and, and doing the time loops over and over again. I think both of those are valid answers. Exactly. And so... I guess we'll wait and see if it comes up again, or... <laughs> I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? What is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. So yeah, there's that reminder of that. Uh... So either, uh, something has gone horribly wrong, and that's why it linked with us, so that we could find, you know, what the issue is to presumably fix it in some way, uh, or... It or worked. What? My gratitude for the latest shipment, uh, Oeno. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, We'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and then exterior for cracks. One final safety check. This is exciting news. And now for an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. I just realized something. I just had a realization. Uh huh. So What'd when you when we were in the shell in the project when the sun went supernova, uh, we were safe from. The sun killing us. For at least a bit. 
But then we, like, faded out in, like, a, a very, very weird-looking way. Uh, where it... That wasn't us dying. That was just, like, the cutoff of the data. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what happened to us next, because the 22 minutes had elapsed. Yes. And it was sending the... It was, okay, that's the cutoff point for the data. We've gotten what we need. It's time to send it all the way back in time. So... With Without saying directly, there are other ways to see that variation of the ending where you just get that like fade out vignette, and all of them are exactly what you described. Oh my god! I wonder what happened. There's a there's a line of text that says like the core isn't strong enough to completely shield it, but it's strong enough to shield it long enough for the data to get transferred. Okay, so so but you, by being in here when the explosion happens you learn that on your own so so eventually cool. our spacemen eventually they get they get fried eventually probably but like but for, that's not important but that that's not important for the sake of the statues <laughs> but it does it does bring up the like moral and ethical quandary of oh my god there's a version of our spacemen they're stuck uh in this like fucking pressure cooker <laughs> oh my god I hope they're okay. I, I hope at least for the little bit they had, they were in as little pain as possible. <laughs> I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. I know these are all just the tablets we've read before, but I do like having this sort of reminder of them repeating. Yeah. Whew! <sighs> okay! Ash Twin is a lot to take in at once. Good golly, ain't that the truth. Oh, we can also put them in there. That's just a, a viewfinder. Right, one. yeah. There was Apollo. Uh, Giant Steep. Giant Steep is what I want to see which viewpoint on Giant Steep this is. I think it's the Canyon York. If I'm not mistaken. That would make sense. That's where the correspondence was from. Yeah. It's the workyard. Okay. Ooh. Oh, everything's wiggling. Everything's wiggling. You got oh. a floating pointitis. <laughs> just, just, just a little bit of a decimal point off. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone gets like this sometimes. It happens. Which time uh. you got? Oh, not a lot. Not a lot, it would seem. Well. Well, you basically got everything at the Ash Twin Project. Yeah. So. You basically only have one thing left to find on Ember Twin. Mm -hmm. And that's the, uh, the dry lake bed. Yes. And so, we've got You're getting that. Close. You're getting close to the end. We are. And, you know, even then, like, other mysteries abound, like, for the dry lake bed itself, like, what is it there that happened that caused the, like, that, that one person to just disappear? Uh, we've got, you know, the mystery of, uh, whatever's on Hollow's Lantern. We need to figure out how to get into the electric core of Giant's Deep. We've, like, basically done nothing for Dark Bramble. We still need to go to the Interloper. And... We need to find the sixth location. Mm-hmm. We are... getting very close... to... finality. Some sort of conclusion. And yet... My god, there's still a lot to uncover. There still is. You could 
potentially beat this game in one more session. That sounds right, yeah. Uh, uh I am I am completely sure that by next session you will know how to beat the game. Interesting. Interesting. Let's find out where uh, our buddy is, at least we can know. I think he's right there, to your left. You and so the dry lake bed, Kurt. I'm assuming, is just like... This. All of this, what is now covered in sand. Yes. <sighs> I think I might be good to stop here, frankly. Okay. I will say if you got a little bit more left in you, maybe finding the the thing at the bottom of the lake bed would be a good stopping point. You but know what? also yeah. here, here is fine too. No, I think I do actually want to do that. I think I do okay. actually want to do that. That won't take very long. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Do I have time? Do I have time? Running out of time. I'm oh, do you want to check time. it out? I do. Is the song playing? I can't hear it. It is starting to play. Okay. I'm going a little fast. Going a little fast. Woo, doggy. Oops, I have the car <laughs> I am just kind of rapidly pressing all of the buttons on my controller, <laughs> trying to like accomplish my goals very desperately here, running out of time to do so. <sighs> this is like one of the few times in the game where hearing the song is actually giving me a sense of dread. It's like, no, I'm so close! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> My controller disconnected. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Ain't that just the fucking way? <laughs> well. Well. Best seats in the house, at least. Next time, you bastard volcano moon. <laughs> Next time. It has happened so again. So, you, uh, what happened was you were just barely outside of the solar system. Uh, oh. Did oh. you get an achievement? Um. I appear to not have. No. Okay, there's normally... <laughs> So essentially, if you just leave the solar system entirely and the loop ends, that happens to you. Uh, because the idea is, I guess, you escape the supernova. But if you do that, or I think maybe it's like a certain distance you have to go, uh, you get an achievement called, it was worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, now my controller's DCing even more. Come on, bud. Oh, no. Man. Is it plugged in? Oh, it's it's extremely plugged in. It's just that, like, oh, the, the USB connection, like, 
not not from like uh, controller to computer. Like like the part plugged into the computer is fine, but it's like a, it's what it's it's like plugged into my pro controller, and it's one of those like like you know you know the little like charge can like port on a pro controller. Mm, yeah. Uh, like the cable that I have that came with it is really fucking wobbly. Like the micro USB Ooh. is real fucking wobbly. Uh, and so like. For the most part, it's fine, but if I, like, jostle it or angle it just wrong, uh, it decides, Okay, boss, no connection red! Ooh, that's unfortunate. It's... suck. Uh, it's literally the only complaint I have about, uh, the Switch Pro Controller, other than, uh, I wish that it, like, had, like, a gate on the control stick because I'm the sucker that likes the octo gate on the, the GameCube controller. Yeah, octo gate's good. Hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. Energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of this planet. There are eight monoliths with no my masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant's Deep, and Timber Hearth, respectively. The Ash Twin project was designed to use the energy from a supernova triggered by the Sun Station to send probe data from the orbital probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The Sun Station did not work. Although the Ash Twin project was theoretically sound, the Nomai were unable to power it. There was an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. I don't know if this is micro USB or USB C. I don't know the names of the different ports. It's one of them small ones. Uh, I and, think it's USB C. And if you, it's it's one of them small ones. What you plug the small end into the controller and the chunky USB section into the computer and mm -hmm. the part what goes into the computer. No complaints there. Perfectly fine. Absolutely <laughs> no problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's the part that interfaces with the controller that I'm not so happy about. <laughs> uh, my children used to play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against one wall. Uh, when the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across the other side. Blindfold rules added because real anglerfish are blind. The adult Nomai were delighted to see the children incorporate their research into the game's rules. Like, we still gotta go to the vessel, escape pod of three is in the bramble. Uh, you know, we've got, like, the lake bed cave. The vessel's one of them big nodes. Mm -hmm. Lake bed cave is what we got to check out. Uh, and we've also got stuff about uh, the comet, which we've, like, basically done nothing with. And then... Yes. This whole bit is mostly all filled out, aside from, like, uh, you know, the probe tracking module and, uh... Feldspar. What happened to Feldspar? Oh, yeah. Feldspar. Lost somewhere in the Bramble, presumably. <laughs> out of nowhere, it's fucking Feldspar. <laughs> the whole guy. That's right. <laughs> okay, so... God, I am tired. I've already forgotten like what I was doing. The... Going to Ember Twin. Right, 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 right. The twins, the twins. You got it. Slow our roll a little bit. He's on the left. Yes, he's on the left. Up a ways. Yep, there he is. So yep. it's just yep. under here, right? Yep, very bottom. Okay. A successful landing. Oh, 
Oh. Well, that is deep. Quite deep. Oh. That's why you need to come here early. Down here, then, I assume. Uh, yeah. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We're filling up. We're filling up already. That's where you came. Oh, am I going the wrong way? No, you're going the right way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm on a delay. Yeah, it's it's okay. Uh... I want to go uphill. How the hell do I get through here? The fuck? I think you have to go a slightly different way, like to the right. Oh. Yeah. Duh. I, I assumed I had found the only passageway, and I was like, well, shit! Parthians <laughs> <laughs> use they slash them pronouns. Uh, I'm very I, I much aware, yeah, I've been saying that. Thank you for the bits. You made it? Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, this part. Uh, waterfall of sand. You know it. You love it. It's platforming, baby. I do love it. I do love platforming. <laughs> This is the segment they made for me specifically. They were like, well, we know Holly's going to be playing this someday. Uh, we'll put this in for her. Gotta have a high speed platform exception. You got it. Well, I assume we keep going uphill. Uh, I think we I can. Think you... I think we have to go yeah. to this cave. Pretty sure it's through that cave. Oopie daisy. I finally found the platform challenge alternate dimension I was thinking of. <laughs> Die away through the quantum maze. <laughs> Can you solve my quantum succulent riddle? Oh. My succulent, succulent quantum riddle. Hey, hang on. It was a cactus before. Try again? Oh. Can I, like, squeeze through here? I don't know. It should go away if you keep looking away. Right, but then it becomes Maybe. like spikes. But I can't fit through that. Hmm. Maybe you have to trap it? I don't remember. I feel like sometimes it just goes away and it leaves it open, but... Very rude. Oh. Very rude content. Okay. It oh, just took a go. lot yep. of attempts. Yep. That was unusual, uh, unusually bad luck. I suppose it was. Hey, it's our friend. Why, it's my friend, the piece of quantum, quantum moon metal. There are a lot of corpses there. There are multiple corpses here. It's a home for skeletons. If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. I lit it again. Coleus and the rock were both gone. 
your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Huh. What does this do? Turns the lights off. So... Oh, weird. I've never tried that. Huh. They said their lantern went out. Right. Oh. Hey, hang on. Uh... Yeah. I, I noticed some people in chat saying something, and I, uh, I think I also, like, saw it on the, the camera. Yeah, recall your, yeah, just recall your scout for now, I think. These bones are standing up. They are standing up. Mike, these bones are standing up. It is a very, uh, Aperture City has the right idea. It's a very, hey bro, type of pose. Congratulations. <laughs> How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here... It can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melaray is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He's also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Ship laws updated. So on the moon. Right. In that shrine. Right. There was a light switch. Was there? Never give up, skeleton. Never give up. Skeleton! I assume we have to go to Cactus Room to get out of here. Uh -huh. Oh, there's two ways out. Uh, Cactus Room and the room with stairs. That one also works. Well, baby, it's stairs. Huh. I think 
I'd like to pay a trip to the moon. <laughs> Want to try doing that this loop? I think I'd like to try doing that this loop. <laughs> I think I'd like to try doing. Let me tell you, if you if you do that, that will be the perfect place to end the stream. All right, fucking okay then. If you if you shall I say if you complete the quantum. I see. It's very cool how I've suddenly realized. Oh. The quantum moon isn't just like, oh, the puzzle of finding out, like, what it is, where it is, how it is. The quantum moon is a fucking puzzle dungeon. Mm. Sort of. It is indeed a puzzle dungeon. Where you is... You are absolutely correct. The locator. Where's that Galder locator? I am so bad at remembering it's where on the other side. are like on a topographical <laughs> sphere. You never get quite used to spheres. Good lord, you never really do, do you? There we are. There it is. Wait, but do do Well. Uh. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> you found right. it. The locator worked. I love that it isn't labeled. That's like, that's actually one interesting thing I learned from playing the album. Uh, the Quantum Moon was completely labeled. Huh. So like you'd see it on the map and stuff like that and it would say Quantum Moon, you know. Obviously it's an earlier build of the game, but like, imagine like how different it would be if you like immediately knew, oh, that was a Quantum Moon from the get-go. Yeah. Like even if, you, even if it took you a while to figure out how to interface with it and stuff like that, just like the fact that it's not labeled and they don't give you any, special attention to it. It's just so, so perfect. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Here we go. There we go. I got a picture of it. We're good. Oh. Let's landing. Let's begin landing. Look, be daisy Okay. Let's get on that fix it up. I don't really need to, but it's the principle of the thing, you know? I like my boat. I like it when my boat is good. A lot more, I think it does in this version, too. Where's the tower? Oh, just spin around it a little, ah, little short eventually. My friend, the tower. Let's open it right up. Lights out. So, we've got... This is the Ash Twins. This is... Uh, this is that place, the hearth. This is... We were just on Timber Hearth. This is Giant's Deep. This is Dark Bramble. We want that. Another way to do it a little faster, uh, you can just use your flashlight. Oh. That's a good point. Recall the rule of the sixth location. What was the rule of the sixth location? You can only visit the sixth location if the shrine is on the North Pole, which is the Red Pole on your little map. Oh. Welcome to the puzzle dungeon. I see. See. 
Hey, open up! Welcome to Wet World! This is going to the South Pole. Can you take me north of it? Lots of Tarando. Uh. Would, would this be considered close enough to the North Pole? Um... Or does it gotta be, like, exact? I think it has to be exact. Okay. But you are closer to the North Pole. Correct. So that's good, at least. I'll take it. That was the shovel. <laughs> Just poked its little head. Mm -hmm. Saw it for a brief moment, like, oh, hey, bud. to test it just to be sure just to see if we it's do worth, have to yeah, be worth like closer or i'm actually not sure i'm pretty dang sure that there's like a threshold let's see if we've met it okay yeah so we do have to be closer yes well good to know we tested it let's visit some other flavors of the moon that one already. Hmm. Time to visit Bramble Moon. I think Bramble Moon was like the first instance of the moon I encountered, and I just assumed, oh, okay, so the moon always has brambles on it then. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, it is flavored for each planet. No, sir, not that one. And it was only when I got here today and realized, hey, hang on, it's taking on the form of a uh, timber hearth that I realized the moon is different depending on where it's over. Uh, this one They've is done something to the moon. Definitely not. Shit, right, it goes away. Oh, gotta find it again. Bro, come back! <laughs> I didn't mean it. Bro, I'm sorry. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> God, I should probably take a picture of it or something. <laughs> Try Timber Hearth. This is where uh -huh. we need to be. Now do a couple spins. I think it has to be closer. This is exactly on the North Pole. Oh, sorry. I'm, I was behind. Yep, okay. that's it. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't mean that in an accusatory way. I just meant that in like an, yep. oh my god, this, this spawn is literally huh? right where it has to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Deep Here breaths. We go. You don't have to do anything, but I so wish the side stream was up for this. I'm I'm worried about fucking breaking anything at this point. Yeah, I'm don't so don't sorry. don't worry. I I will deal. This is it. Don't jump too high. Right, yeah, I don't want to derez myself. As it were. I should probably not be walking up these. Let's take a stroll. Just a leisurely stroll. Yeah, a nice relaxing walk through the quantum moon. Holy shit. No, not now. No, no. Did it start? It's oh. begun. 
Hey, just to tease you, go forward a little bit. It's you. You made it. Who are you? Meet Solanon. You're probably going to have to come back here. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine. To learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Oh, I have so much to tell you. Think you have it in you to go back one more time to go talk to her? I think I have to. I think you have to. I think I have to. Sorry to doom you. <laughs> I thought you would make it there before the loop would end. And it's okay. Have ample time to talk to Solanom. It's okay. <laughs> like I went from like, oh man, I'm getting kind of tired. Okay, this is gonna be my last loop to just. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> you said you wanted to meet one. The moon. The moon. 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 <laughs> Moon, 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 moon. Oh, oh yeah, moon. Moon. That's there, unless you mean a different moon. All right, I'm fine. <laughs> a gnome named Coles was standing on the wandering rock when another gnome's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coles and the rock were both gone. The travel of the quantum object, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum rule to escape the cave he was trapped in. Coleus and Mallory returned to examine the rock. They theorized that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to observe his or her surroundings, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they both move together. I met a living gnome, my main soul, and I'm at the South Pole. There's more to explore here. There's more to explore here! <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> this game! Hey, this game's good. Hey, y'all! This game? I think it's good. Just as I really like you using the quantum moon locator, but I'm actually going to give you some tech to speed it up. Uh, opening your map counts as looking away from something. So essentially, if you look at a planet, oh, never mind, there it is. There's the moon. There you are, you be beautiful ball. Oh, how I missed you. Now let me land on. Here I come, here I come, here I come, here I come, here I come! Oh... We're gonna need some repairs. Uh, your reactor is going to explode. Oh. It's right next to you. Uh, just get off your ship, you're not gonna need it. How do I fix it? Uh, uh, uh you could go back in, and then to your... The, by the crystal? Yes. And, uh, oh, the, the thing. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you do have to go outside. I think it just said the hull is broken. Oh, okay. Like it just said uh, hopefully, hopefully it won't blow up. Where? Okay. 
That's I think good. it'll blow up. If you're standing on it, I would just leave. I would go away. I can't leave my boat behind. Okay. That's fair. That's very noble. She's good. She'll live to fly another day. Ah. <sighs> That's what matters. I thought when the flash the light flashed red it meant your reactor is going to blow and if your reactor is going to blow your sh can't just detonate <laughs> but it didn't but it didn't so i don't think your reactor was there and i think the alarm light is just like there's a lot of things broken <laughs> you should fix it yes the honking is not always the reactor now i know yippee um uh, i think the speed tech is either brittle hollow or Dark Bramble, go up to the top and then switch to Timber Hearth or Ember Twin. Well, here we I've are. Learned the, I've learned the configurations. There's a route here. You should be able to walk up like really close to the North Pole. Yeah, right here. <laughs> you were here before. Yeah. Just keep on away from you Wow, might be okay. staying on top of. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right goddamn next to me. Yep. It was taking a while because you were parked on where it wanted to park. I suppose that makes sense, don't it? Bro, I'd like to spawn here, but you're fat ass in the way. <laughs> Come on. Bro, I don't want to telefrag you. You gotta move. Do not stand in the geyser. No, not where I need you to be. Not where I need you to be. There we go. That's what I came here for. That's what we like to see. Come on, Quantum Moon. <laughs> Show some fucking goals. Solanum! Solanum, I'm back! Solanum, you will not believe the shit I have just been through! Where are we? I, I do appreciate that, like, we don't talk to them, because we don't know their spoken language, we know the written language. She can't understand you. Right. Identity. And then she like writes it on her little pad for us. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. That's one of my favorite lines in the game. I don't know why. Just like the fact that you're talking to this being purely by like identifying pictures and she can spit language at you but mm -hmm. she can't understand you but it's like at least I can talk to you yeah imagine your purpose here is the same as mine to learn about and to find the eye of the universe I'm unsure how you arrived here however perhaps from another star system as my clan originally did no 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 I'm native <laughs> no 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 I used to be fish <laughs> Identify you. I'd like to hear more about you. I am Solano, a Nomai. 
my clan arrived in this star system before my birth. And now, we call it home. I don't know about that. I, now in a relative sense, I suppose. <laughs> I am on my first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when they come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the Quantum Moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Warp. Interesting. Identify the quantum moon. This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Oh! Oh, okay! Oh! <laughs> okay! The freaky purple rock is its natural state. Because the freaky purple rock is what the eye looks like. I see. Right, because the quantum moon takes the form of whatever it's orbiting. Mm -hmm. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. That's why they were never able to pinpoint an exact like location for it. That's why in that one like model of the, the solar system they had in the observatory, when they like input the quantum moon, it was just like fucking or the the, the eye rather was like all over the place. Mm hmm It wasn't wrong, it was just confused. It wasn't wrong, it was completely right! <laughs> the issue is that the fact that it's completely right is a challenge! In fact, the moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. That same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum too. I see... We did me, we did quantum moon, we did you. So, pro tip, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually put uh, blue stones with other blue stones and the two yellow stones with each other. Oh? Once, so. you, once you go through all the dialogue, you can, you can do those. Okay. She place. just has dialogue for all of those. Okay. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows. Enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this 
has become my clan's greatest question. So, like, we can... So, oh, you mean, like, uh... Yeah, it doesn't have to be one yellow stone and one blue stone. It can be two blue or two yellows. I see. Just for some extra dialogue. These are the two tenets of Nomai philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Let's see. I also just like that because it's like mechanically it's like, tell me more about this and tell me what this is. And it's like, yep, this is what we're all about. Literally just finding shit. <laughs> finding shit and th thinking about it. Me and you. I like this one. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. <laughs> so enough, I love you. <laughs> Game is good. Game is good. Game is good. <laughs> is this your first time on the quantum moon? In a relative sense, I suppose. It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Me, eye of the universe. Me, eye of the universe. Me, observe universe with a button. <laughs> Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? I wonder if somehow getting entangled uh, with the eye of the universe by someone or something, at some point, is what caused it to send the signal it did. That's a good question. My, like, complete uh, crackpot theory. We'd say we did, we did Quantum Moon, I the Universe, and you for that. My complete uh, duck theory uh, is that... Uh... The ending of the game is somehow going to be us getting inside of the eye and creating the signal, thus causing the cycle to begin in the first place. Uh, no one, no one, say fucking anything in chat. None of you motherfuckers, <laughs> don't you dare be like, oh, um, haha, no, it couldn't be side eye, side eye, sweating, because you motherfuckers have done that before, and I'm just going to straight up ban you if you do that. No one say anything. You heard her. I don't care if I'm right or wrong. I'm guessing. I will figure out if I'm right or wrong when I play the video game. <laughs> I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant Steep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being the moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? We haven't yet you haven't done. done her and Quantum Moon. We also have to do her and I of the universe. I think those two are kind of the same either way. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. 
You know, I was just wondering to myself, uh, about to say, uh, I wonder, uh, if this is somehow, like, time is in a state of flux and we're, like, somehow quantumly at the same moment, uh, where Soldenum was also on their on her first visit to the moon, even though, like, you know, it, the quantum moon is quantum in terms of space, not time itself. Or if, like, mm. like this reflection and observation of her who is in a state of quantum flux, rather than it just being, like, her itself, it's like the version of her now being observed here on the moon, as it once was. And there's nothing we can do to figure this out. And there's nothing we can do to let her know about this. Maybe in a way she already knows. She, she, she did have that hypothesis. Many in my clan have believed the Eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the Eye was malevolent to have lured my clan to the star system, only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the Eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the Eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. There's no hug button, so please pretend I'm wrapping my arms around her. <laughs> <laughs> you can fire a scout at her head. That's kind of hugging. That's kind of like hugging. Have we done all the combinations? I think we did, yes. I'm pretty sure you got all of them. It looks wrong if I don't put them in the right places again. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Selenum. I hope well, we get to go to the eye someday. For her. Only one thing left to do. either i don't know if your boat has shown up on your it's not on the mini map it might have fallen off potentially well you can take the shuttle out we're taking the long way back sorry solenum I, I, I'll, I'll, i'm gonna take this <sighs> she's not gonna need this anymore not this loop at least Cumberto Hall. Where's your ship? Check your map. Oh, wait. There it is. 3.4 kilometers away. Is it outside the solar system? It might be outside the solar system. Yeah. Ship's gone. Try, yeah, try like, spinning a little bit. Four point seven, four point eight. Yep. Mm -hmm. Long gone. There's a lot of, uh... Wait, did it say it was on Timber Hearth? It's on Timber Hearth. Wait, it's on Timber Hearth? It's on Timber Hearth. Oh! Then it probably got bopped off the moon while you were in the Timber Hearth configuration. Huh. There's a lot of very wacky stuff with how the quantum moon actually, like, renders and everything like that, so, uh, it can... It can kind of get launched off <laughs> the moon very quickly. Uh-huh. And then just land somewhere. Let's see. 
there's a very, very wacky glitch you can do with uh, putting your ship on the quantum moon. Essentially, like, if you put your ship, if you land your ship sideways on the quantum shrine, mm -hmm. so that the gravity field is kind of sticking into the shrine a little bit, and then you go into the shrine, shut the door, turn the lights off, so you put everything into the flux state, mm -hmm. while you're being pulled through the wall into your ship kind of helplessly. Uh, the game gets very confused, I think, from the quantum moon actually physically moving. Right. And you get launched at uh, seven fucktillion miles an hour, and you immediately launch out of the solar system. Fuck yes. It's really good. <laughs> well. You got the interloper right here. Yeah, we're here. We might as well. So that's a good place to end the stream. But if you want to... If you want to take a little interloper peek, we can do that. I'll wait until the loop ends uh, before calling in. I figure we got some time. We might as well use it. I don't think we got much left, but that's okay. I don't got too much gas in me. Uh, apologies in advance. I think I am, like, way too goddamn tired to do, like, uh, the fan art showcase for tonight. But uh, <laughs> I, I kind of do just want to call it ASAP and, like... <laughs> cool the hell down, but uh, I will be looking at the fan art, you know, after the stream. Uh, so thank you all uh, in advance for the things that you've made today. Uh, I'll be sharing stuff on Twitter, of course, so... You know, feel free to post your stuff on there. Here we are. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's ice. Oh, I'm sliding. It's ice physics, baby. Oh, Green Freddy. Oh, green free. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't stop thinking about that fucking video literally ever. I'm glad we found it. Yeah. It's funny that of all fucking places we found it, it was on, like, one of Wayne's VODs. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that Wayne had watched it on stream was the ultimate preservation technique. Mm-hmm. shuttle. I think you've found this before. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. That's new. I think we had, like, called the shuttle back once. Mm hmm. And so that was how we got inside of it that one time. Yes. We are a little bit careening towards the sun, but I wonder if we'll make it there before uh, things go through our nuclear. I think on... I think because of where you are in the loop, on this pass, the comet will go into the sun. Eh, that's a fitting enough way to end it, I suppose. Yeah. We've only got three minutes error left anyways. Uh, there I go. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Comets don't got a lot of gravity. And I don't got enough fuel to get back into... Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well. Wow, you really got shot off. Oh, I think you got pulled towards Giant Steep. Maybe I did, yeah. I think so. I think that's what happened. Giant Steep does have really high gravity and can kind of fuck with you if you're in zero-G. Mm-hmm. Maybe well, this is just where we call it then. A good enough place as any. Yeah. We saw a hell of a lot on this 
last loop tonight. We sure did. This was probably the most important stream in terms of uh, stuff you have learned. Yeah, my god. Uh, I went from, oh, we're probably going to be bumbling around for a while, uh, and that's okay. We'll just get warmed up again, whatever, to um, probably the most information-dense Outer Wild stream we've had, <laughs> aside from maybe the first one. Only two places left. Comet Ooh. and Bramble. Well, three if you count the middle of Giant Steep. I got a question about that, actually. And, uh... You can yes or no this, or you can choose not to answer it. Um, mm hmm Knowing, like, what I've seen so far, uh, based on everything I've seen so far in this video game, uh... Do I have all of the pieces to be able to access that delicious electric center? No. Okay. I'll leave it at that. You have some pieces left to scrounge. Fine by me. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solanum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. Whew. One out of six Solanums is alive. Somewhere. Five out of six Solanums agree that they are dead. <laughs> At least they have consensus on that. I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. The Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. We'll have to go inside the interloper. Next time. Next we go time. Comet Spelunking. And presumably other things, given how today's stream went, where I just went, well, today we're gonna go to Ember Hearth, and then, you know, we did... <laughs> All of that. Oh, you know. <laughs> you, we did, oh, you know, fucking everything. <laughs> you know how it is when you tell yourself you want to bake an apple pie and you accidentally create the entire galaxy as you know it. <sighs> <sighs> I'm wiped. <laughs> yeah. I am very tired. Uh, my controller disconnected twice in a row, so I just oh, unplugged no. it. <laughs> all right thank you well good session thanks for having me yeah thank you for coming along i'm very excited for next week me too thank y'all uh so much for tuning in uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna see if there's anyone we can raid now. Uh, again, apologies mm -hmm. for, uh, not having the energy to, like, go through the whole shebang for the fan art showcase, but I promise you, I will be looking through it all after the stream, once I've had a chance to, like, cool down and relax a little. <laughs> Wayne is live with Dog Ball. We could just raid Wayne. Wayne does have Ball of Dog. Uh... Just go through oh, I kind of want to play dog ball after this. Hell yeah. I still got to try that someday. It's fun. I like it. Looks like a fun game. They, they still let you do like a free trial, don't they? Yes. It's like uh, you got like levels that they throw at you for playing the game and it's free for like the first 25. So you can basically play for like a few hours before buying it. Hell yeah. I should probably give that a try sometime. I'm taking like the day off tomorrow. Maybe I do that tomorrow. Or maybe That's I do other things idea. tomorrow. You should take a day off. Hell yeah. I'm trying to get better about, like, 
spacing out uh, time spent not doing work, whether that's streaming or other stuff. So mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Uh, I can't think of a raid phrase uh, unless y'all can. Uh, maybe we don't need one. Maybe we just go in Have and enjoy fun the and be yourself. Yeah. Just be nice. Don't get in trouble. Don't get hit by the ball. Uh, and there we have it. Thank y'all again so much for tuning in. Thank y'all for all the support tonight, all the subs, all the tips, all the bits. Your generosity means a whole lot to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you for all of the raids and hosts that we had. Thank you in advance uh, for all the wonderful fan art. I'm very excited to check that out. Uh, Thank you again to Mike for coming along with me again tonight. It's always a delight to have you here. You are welcome. And thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm going to be live again on Thursday with some dice. Thank you, Keenan Ironsides, for that four-month resub. I really appreciate that. Less than three. That's going to be it for the stream. We're heading off now. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Enjoy Wayne's stream for sticking around for that. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye.